So, Tom, how does it feel to have a statue of you added to the museum's Hall of Coolness? I always knew that I was cool, but I never knew that I was statue cool. Wow! I can't believe Tom's image will be next to the ruby that fell from space. It's around this corner. Prepare to marvel at some marble. Huh? Uh, pardon me, but, uh, quick question. Why does this statue of me, uh, not look like me? Because it's not you. Huh? A cooler guy moved to town, so he got a statue instead. What? Some fella named Roy. Roy? Roy? Roy. Oh, oh, yes, Roy! Roy, Roy. Roy. Brad. Roy. Roy. Oh, Roy babysat for our family once and planted two gardens just for fun. I choked on a grape once, and Roy saved my life. Who the is Roy! Oh, one little museum statue isn't a big deal. This isn't gonna change our lives or anything. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. Guys, look! We're getting a new neighbor! And they have a bunch of cool stuff! I wonder who it is. What if he's a jerk? <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. He's me. Hi, new neighbors. I'm Roy. Hmm. Think of my welcome to the neighborhood present for Roy, huh? What a nice gesture, especially after Roy dethroned you as the coolest person in town. Uh, According ben. to the museum, but ben. what do museums know? Ben! Oh, oh. It's fine. In fact, that's why I'm giving him this pie, so that Roy can be like, a homemade pie? Tom is way cooler than I am. <laughs> so it's not a nice gesture at all. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, just dropping by to give you a little something. Yeah, just to show you how much I appreciate being your new neighbor. Oh, a Lightning Man action figure. Oh, stop making these after all the lightning injuries. A Blue Flame 5000. That's the best Bunsen burner you can buy. Wow, the Paco and the Gillicuddy complete box set. It even has the Christmas special everyone hated. Whoa, are these real gold? Mm hmm and real microphones. Well, Roy, you shouldn't have. Yeah, Roy, you shouldn't have. I wanted us to get off on the right foot, so I did a little research on y'all to see what you like. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, Tom, I wish I could be as hilarious as you. By the way, I didn't forget about you. Oh. Wow. That pie looks amazing. <laughs> now, it's not a contest. Oh, and before I go, I'm having a little housewarming shindig tonight. Y'all should come if you're not too busy. Uh, yeah, you know... We'd love to! Yes! <laughs> I just don't understand why we are going to some stranger's party. Roy is not a stranger. He's your neighbor. Stop being such a grump. Fine, but don't come complaining to me when this party is super... <laughs> Lame? All your memories. So I said, Senator, that's not an avocado. The funny thing is, it was an avocado. He was right. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Give a toast to the host with the most. Oh boy! Shoo ba Roy has his own game room. Come play extreme foosball with me. Uh, <laughs> Ginger, which one of these way too many doors did you go into? Museum. What? Are you snooping in here? 
No, I just got lost, but there is something weird about this guy. Look, he's got this thing just laying around. I mean, what even is this? I know, right? <gasps> it's, it's silly, but what can I say? I collect cool things, and this antique crown is cool, right? Soon I'll get something even more out of this world. Hmm. Anyway, you're obviously lost. I'll take you both back to the party. <gasps> the hallways in this house can be really, really confusing. Totally not your fault. Uh, Happens to a lot of people. Hmm. secret door behind it. I mean, I am telling you, this dude is hiding something. Calm down. It was probably some ugly utility closet he was simply trying to cover up. Oh, Tom, mm -hmm. a strange mail delivery that none of us knew about is here. Oh, a box. Let me open it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. I look like Star Bandit from Space Conflicts. Uh, I did not order that. Ben? Mm, says it's for Roy. I guess it was delivered here by mistake. Roy, wait. This is burglary gear. It all makes sense. Roy had museum blueprints, he collects museum things, and he said he was getting something out of this world. Roy's going to steal the space wow. ruby. I know you're mad about the statue, but give it a rest. <laughs> yeah, Tom, Roy's already got it all. Why would he need to steal to get more? <sighs> okay. You're right. Yeah, sure. Roy is just a cool guy with a cool house. So I think I'll just take this back to him and, and thank him for all of the coolness that he gives us. That's the spirit, Tom. Sure. Roy. Oh, Tom, what are you doing here? Stopping you from stealing this. I just happened to catch Roy trying to steal the space ruby. Oh, Roy? Yeah, Jesus. that's right. Tom, I'm afraid you're mistaken. I caught you sneaking into the museum. Oh. How dare you? Uh, it's true. Roy? I was sneaking into the museum because I was so touched when you all honored me with my statue. I wanted to make a donation for my own collection as a thank you. Could someone pull that cord? Whoa! Lost crown of the City of Secrets? Come on! What an incredible piece. Yeah, I studied the museum blueprint so I could sneak in and drop off the crown while the museum was closed. I guess I should have told someone about it, but I wanted the donation to be anonymous. My grandma always said it's important to be humble. Aww. Aww. No, don't... Aww. All right, he said he was going to add something out of this world to his collection, as in, from space. Oh, that! Tom, I meant that I bought the Star Bandit costume from the huh? Space Conflicts movies. Actually, it's a lot like your outfit. Where'd you get that? But I, you, Space <laughs> Ruby. Yeah! All right, folks, nothing to see here. Roy was just trying to do something nice and Tom spoiled it. Excuse me, officer. Don't be mad at Tom. He was only trying to help. We're lucky to have such a concerned citizen. Let's give Tom a round of applause for Tom. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! The museum accepted Roy's generous donation, which was going to be anonymous until it was spoiled by a citizen who shall remain unnamed. But he looks like this. Oh. It's okay, Tom. People will forget about this in a few days. Or weeks. 
I mean, definitely in a few months. Hey, uh, Tomo, I wanted to make sure there were no hard feelings about what happened today. Friends? Sure, Roy. Friends. Oh. oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Because nobody's gonna believe you now that you made a fool of yourself in front of the whole town. <laughs> Wait, what? I was right about you! See you around, Tom. I mean... Fix those forks! Wipe that glass! When the big guy shows up, everything has to be perfect! We don't usually fancy up tables like this. Who's the hot shot? The big cheese! The top noodle! You'll know him by the yellow pin on his collar! I did... I did... Huh? That's Becca's favorite flower. You're looking great for your date. Yeah. Gee, thanks, Angela. Uh, I guess all I have left to say is, don't make me go in there, please! I've never been on a date before! Oh, Hank. You can do this, buddy. Yeah, well, what if I can't? I don't know the first thing about romance. I'm only good at hanging with the boys, see? Just be confident. Fake like you know what you're doing and everything will be fine. Yeah, uh, you're gonna be great! Now get in there! <laughs> Hello, madam. I am here for a date. A lot of people have dates. Do you have a reservation? A res res is that something I need? <laughs> Remember what I said, ma'am. Fake like you know what you're doing and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I think you'll find that I do have a reservation for uh, that table right over there. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Of course, right this way. We've been expecting you. Yeah, I guess Tom knows his stuff. This is a nice place. I didn't know this is how you roll. Oh, I'm full of surprises. Like the babysitter in that classic thriller, I think my babysitter's an alien. <laughs> I've seen that movie five times. I love it when the aliens get exploded. It's so cool. I think you'll find there's a lot about me that's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I goofed it up. It's okay. I'll just run to the bathroom and wipe the flowers off. Huh? This is going great. Keep faking it, because you are making it. I guess I am, imaginary Tom. I never would have thought that the secret to dating is confidence. Well, well, what's this? Boy, you've got a lot of nerve. Oh, thank you. As a dating man who does dating, having nerve is key. I'm not talking about your date. You stole this table from Tony Macaroni. <gasps> Big mistake, pal. Huh? You just made an enemy of the most dangerous pasta smuggler in town. Huh? Tony Macaroni has escaped from prison. Police should be looking for him, but they're way too scared. <laughs> Go check my table. <laughs> hey, who's that sitting at Mr. Macaroni's table? Get out! <laughs> the table will be ready in just a moment. Oh. Oh. Ah. Nobody breaks Tony Macaroni's stuff. Get him! Becca, we have what? to go. What? But we just got here. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm full of surprises. Uh. <gasps> what? Uh. That was weird. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> you die in a dash after you eat. Yeah, that place was stuffy. Besides, we'll have a much better day outside. I get it. <laughs> nice throw, but watch this. It's so romantic being on the beach under the lightning. <laughs> Sorry, pardon me, excuse me! <laughs>
This is a date activity called Quiet Dumpster. The goal is to see who can be the quietest one in the dumpster. <laughs> Let's try. No, I'm done. If you didn't want to date me, you should have stood me up like a normal person instead of torturing me. What? Becca, I'm not doing that. Really? Then what are you doing? Why has this entire date been so weird? Remember, fake it and you'll oh. Wow, maybe stop taking my advice. <laughs> oh, I ruined our date. I forgot to make a reservation for dinner, so I accidentally impersonated Tony Macaroni and stole his table. And now his goons are after us and that's why we're here. What? Oh, Becca, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hank, that is such a relief. But, but I goofed it all up. I know. I thought you were being mean, but you were just bumbling through an adventure. Total Hank thing to do, by the way. It's cute. <laughs> I'm good. Can you see him anywhere? No. Oh, I think we lost him. Let's go ask the boss what to do. Have you ever faked like you knew what you were doing? Huh? I have an idea. Man, I can't believe this! Some nobody steal my table? And you cheeseheads let those breadsticks slip away! Nobody escapes from Tony Macaroni! Boss, they was real slippery-like, but we'll find them. You had better? What kind of a noodle head picks a fight with the best possible <laughs> smuggler in the country? Me! <laughs> Tony Macaroni! Us kind of a noodle head. <laughs> It's them! Put the boil on them, boys! Not so fast. The name is Sammy Spaghetti. This is my associate, Penny Penne. We were sent here by the big bosses. The big bosses? What for? Making sure Tony Macaroni ain't gone soft. Ah. <laughs> no, no soft. Damn. Yeah, pretty good work chasing us. You proved that no one can mess with you. But stay sharp, because the big bosses will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> wow, maybe you really can do anything if you're confident. This is like so fun. You and I make a great team. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's this sweet moment over here? Huh? Oh, that's just how we big bosses do business, right? Take your linguini back. Hmm, linguine, huh? Oh, tell me, Sammy, what kind of cheese fills a linguine? Uh, hey, whatever cheese you want. Prayer <laughs> question. Linguine ain't filled with cheese. It's a pasta in the form of marrow ribbons. These two is impostas. Run, Becca, run! <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but... I'm just not cut out for dating. Don't say that. We had fun. Kinda. But I goofed it all up. Not one thing went romantically. Hmm. Stop whining, Hank. There's still time to save this date. <laughs> Let's dance. The dance? Why? Uh -huh. Hey, knock that off! Your dancing is untying the rope knot. That's the idea, Goon. You uh -huh. can't dance out of this one. Nobody escapes from Tony Macaroni. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>
Tony Macaroni, the feared pasta smuggler, has been apprehended by two local vigilantes. Police have finally arrested the Macaroni mastermind. Wow! I'd ask how your date went, but I guess I already know. Yeah, the night took a weird turn. Becca, would you want to uh, have a real do-over date? I'd love that. Only, let's do it as just friends. Something tells me you're not really ready for romance. Shoo! Thank you, Becca. Thank you so much. You're right. I'm so happy I could... Oh, I am trying to eat here! You people disgust me! Disgusting! Yikes, it is rough out there. Good thing we have nothing to do and nowhere to be. Ha! Lazy Monday, baby! Mm. Yep, it's the best holiday we made up of the year. You know, I'm uncomfortable putting off work, but if you're following my 10 steps of relaxation, it oh, can boy. improve your brain power. Ugh. Way to make being lazy sound like a chore, Ben. I'm just saying, I'm coming around to the idea that taking a day off won't cause some massive disaster. Holy ravioli. Uh-oh. What happened to this place? Uh, it looks like it went upside down and downside up again. I can explain. Uh. It's Lazy Monday, so we can't do chores or jobs or anything. But, you know, tomorrow... Don't talk to me about tomorrow. A guy from Impressive Landlords Monthly is coming today to take pictures of this place. Hmm. That's why I loaned you. <gasps> My priceless antique grandfather clock. This is supposed to be the piece that fancies up the whole garage. You loafers better clean all this before the photo man arrives, or you're out of here for good. against everything Lazy Monday stands for. Sitting and lying down and never standing. Lazy Monday is over! Now come on, the landlord will evict us if we don't start cleaning! Don't turn your back on everything we believe in! You must have some technovention that can help us! Ginger, being lazy is not everything I believe in. Huh? Oh. Okay, fine. Huh? the flat jack. I created it so students could fit more books in their backpacks, but it can also compress this mess. Let's observe. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, this is awesome. If we use this, we can stack the whole mess like a pile of paper. Easy as pie. Not quite. We need to create a system to organize this place like a big filing cabinet. Let me try. Oh. Hold on! We have to be efficient about our cleaning. Good point. If we just stuff everything in there once, we can finish right away and get back to our lazy holiday. Uh, Come on! No. I hear you guys. <laughs> Stop! It's not meant to handle all that at once! You'll overload the machine! wouldn't stop being lazy around dangerous technology, and now you flex the entire room! Yeah, this is weird, but look on the bright side. Huh? huh? Everything is flat, so we can push this mess into a pile and be done cleaning. Woo! It's a lazy Monday miracle! Plus, while we're flat, there are even more options for lounging. Ah. <laughs> Still going to goof off? Why not? We have tons of time now. Save that clock! If we lose it, the landlord will never forget.
forgive us! You should have warned us this could have happened with your machine. But if you... What? I did! But you wouldn't give up on your made-up holiday. <laughs> oh, my machine! I need to reverse this! <laughs> oh, we're getting evicted, aren't we? Maybe not. We just have to get down to it. This is too hard! Ben, do you have another pigeon to fix this mess? Where's Ben? The wind must have carried him in a different direction. No. Sorry, guys. Our day of doing nothing has turned into a disaster. Man, Lazy Monday was going so well. Remember when Hank lazily got rid of that baloney earlier today? Do I? That was a proud moment in not getting off my butt. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Well, that won't get us down to... Wait, maybe it will. Let's be like baloney and catch that clock. Uh. Mm. Uh. 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 <laughs> Science Diary, Chapter 82. Being flattened is going to take some getting used to. Movement is far more difficult this way. Math, you've done it again! Hey, Ginger, remember this morning when Tom asked you to pass him that takeout menu? Yeah. Huh? Laziness, you've done it again! Yeah. Um, how are we gonna cross the street without getting flattened? Lazily decided to play old video games? Yeah! I'm okay! Uh, <laughs> now let's get back to the garage before the landlord gets there. Let's get lazy. We're home! Soon we'll be... Oh, no. Uh -oh. The landlord must have hired a yard crew for the photo shoot. Why is the world so dangerous? That's a question I ask a lot. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! How did you learn to move like that? I calculated flat physics. <laughs> wow! Wait. Thank you, thank you. Wait! How did you all get the clock back and get home? Did you finally stop lazing around? Nope. We use laziness to solve problems. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you made it. Yeah. I figured out how to get past our lawn and get home, but I couldn't do it alone. Look. Huh? Uh. Mm. We're a big paper airplane. Weird. Oh. Ooh, I think my foot is in Hank's eye. I think my foot is also in my eye. Uh-oh. You won't be able to see the grandfather clock. It's in... No time to worry about feet now. We're flying home on three. One... Ah! Ah!
genius. I mean, I'll admit, that was an awesome way not to be lazy. <laughs> yeah! Um, we tried to clean, but everything got flat. And then there was wind. Enough excuses! You obviously spent the whole day doing nothing. Well, now you'll have plenty yeah, of time. I love this room. Oh. Huh? So many landlords try to show us these perfect places. It feels boring, it feels fake. But this, this is exciting. It's real. I especially love the daring angle on that grandfather clock. Oh. <laughs> 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 so I guess we're not evicted? Not this time. We were lucky. But there's still no substitute for hard work. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we interrupt today's episode of Dance Dating with urgent news for all fans of the town's big donut statue. This delicious historical landmark is going to be restored. Yes! That's great! I used to love climbing the sprinkles on that thing when I was a kid. The money for the restoration will be raised at a very fancy auction. And the host of this glamorous event will be the town's most charitable citizen, Earl. Well, I believe that anyone would help this treasure that, if they but, could. Please, don't think of me as a hero. That's Let's something see. a hero would say. Right. Classic hero oh. humility. How do you not all see through this guy? He's up to something! I mean, remember when I found the secret door in his house? Wasn't that suspicious? I don't know, Tom. Houses have doors. <gasps> I bet it's a tuxedo closet. <gasps> or an extra bathroom. No! Guys, it doesn't matter what it is. What matters is there's a fancy auction next door, and we're going. <gasps> That'll bring donuts. <laughs> Back to my regular size. Whoa, Ben, what is that thing? It's my new invention, the shrink submarine. It can shrink and then go inside someone's body to detect medical issues. Yeah, 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 that's nice. But there is much more important, wait a minute, random question for you. Could this take you inside someone's head so you can see what they're seeing and learn all of their secrets? Theoretically, yes. Thanks for taking an interest in my work, Tom. Oh, Ben, I'm... Very interested. <laughs> wow, thank you, Hank. These donuts will be a sweet addition to my auction. Oh, and I see one is just for me to eat. Hmm. I must have frosted that one in my sleep. Not the first time that's happened. Secret mission log, entry one. I've borrowed Ben's shrink sub and hidden my tiny self in a donut. My journey into Roy to find proof of his badness is about to begin. Made it. Okay. Let's see what you do when you think no one's watching you from inside your eyeballs. Oh, 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 oh! Your secret mission log entry two! Roy is at his secret door! Yeah, it, it, this is definitely not an extra bathroom. I mean, I think that's even an eyeball recognizing scanner. <laughs> Wait, what? Shield. Hmm, Tom, 
Ben, hi, I need your help. Uh, I'm stuck in Roy's brain. I, uh, I might have borrowed your shrink sub without asking. What are you talking about? The shrink sub is right... God! I should have seen this coming! Okay, now, uh, before you yell at me, you should know that I almost saw proof that Roy's bad. Tom, I can't believe you would do something so reckless. Oh, look, 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 we can figure out whose fault it is later, but please rescue me! I guess this auction is about to see some action. Hi, thanks for coming. Hi, come on in. Hi, welcome to your auction. I mean, I made you tea to get your voice ready for some fast talking. Angela, I would never turn down tea from a lovely lady such as yourself. <laughs> anyway, sip, sip. <sighs> I hope this works. This taxi won't be as smooth a ride as the sub Tom took. He wasn't built to shrink. First of all, I'd like to welcome you all to the Save the Donut auction. A lot of people are saying I'm a hero for doing this, but I say you're the real heroes. Now let's make sure the heroes in the back can hear me. Ben, we've got a code megaphone. What? No! His amplified voice will shake us all to pieces! Uh, I chose this from my personal collection. This classic work of art. A little painting called a Woman Looking at a Rock. You are your 1,000. Make it shut up! Buy something! But I don't have any genuine art money. 2,000? Do I hear 2,000 for this painting? I bid 10,000! Wow! Going once? Going twice? Sold to the apparently rich young lady. What are you doing? <laughs> she did it! To the parade! Oh, you made it! I'll be right there! Uh, he can't get out! The brain is blocking the door! Angela! We found Tom, but we can't get to him! You need to shake Roy to knock the shrink sub loose from his brain! Ugh. Hold on, Roy. Before you sell me this art, I need to examine it to make sure it's real. <laughs> you already bought it. I'll be the judge of that. Let's see if it moves like a work of art. Oh. 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 I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. It's, it's fine. Just a little nosebleed. Luckily, I never host an auction without bringing a tissue. It wasn't enough! Do it again! She did it! Hero Boy to the rescue! Oh, let's go! Tom, be careful! Stopping on Roy's brain could affect him! Well, I don't want it now. You owe me a submarine, Tom. Okay, I get it. You're all mad. But in my defense, none of this would have happened if you all agreed with me that Roy can't be trusted. Let's talk after we get out of Roy's nose. Oh, we're almost there. I can see the light at the end of the nostril. That's not a light. It's a giant tissue. Ah! 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 Great! The taxi's broken. Now I have to grow up inside a face. Not necessarily. If Roy sneezes, he'll eject the tissue and then us. But to make that happen, one of us has to stay behind to tickle Roy's nose. Guys, I'm gonna make Roy sneeze like he's never sneezed before. And Tom, if my sacrifice means you get to tell people about a door that Roy has, it was worth it. Tom! You keep your fingers out of Roy's nose. 
This is my fault. I should be the one that gets left behind. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourselves and this weirdness today. That was different. Uh, uh, but don't worry, I promise everything will be completely normal. <laughs> Starting now. Now! <laughs> This auction's over, uh, because, surprise, I'm cleaning the statue myself. Hey, everyone, I'm really sorry. I went way too far trying to expose Roy. I really messed up. I'm just glad you're safe. Besides, I guess Roy has something he's hiding after all. I wonder what it is. His embarrassing baby pictures? Or an embarrassing alien body? It doesn't matter. Whatever Roy is hiding, it's not worth risking my friends to find out what it is. No secret is that important. <laughs> hey, world. I'm Becca Sparkles. I'm fierce and fresh, and I want to shake things up. It's sparkle time. <laughs> Cut! This reality show audition tape is looking good. Maybe a little too much glitter, Ginger. No such thing! Huh? Ooh, do you really think you have a shot at getting on Chef Mansion? I'd better. I need a new place to live. And a mansion would be a pretty sweet upgrade. Check it out! This week on Chef Mansion, the chefs have to drag a giant bag of flour up the grand staircase. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll find a place that's right for me. Like you have this apartment. It's so Angela. Aw, thanks. I'm happy with it. He did it! Oh, guys, don't break Angela's things. Save that for when we're home, when we can break our own things. Oh, it's okay. That mirror was actually there when I moved in, so I guess it wasn't really mine. <laughs> What tipped you off, Ace? The floating or, like, moving through the wall? Listen, ghost, you don't need to haunt us. Oh, I'm a ghost, so I'm haunting you. Ah. Rude. This is my apartment. I've been here way longer than you, so if anything, you're haunting me. Wait, why have I never seen you before? Uh, duh! I was trapped behind that mirror you broke. Thanks for doing that, I guess. Cut the chit chat! This is not a drill! Let's school this ghoul! We need taser packs, ecto traps, and the breath of a newborn baby! Uh, Ginger, no! But she lives here. Or unlives here. I don't know, either way, I think that means she's my roommate. What? Angela, no! You can't live with a ghost! Tom's right! That 
entity breaks all the laws of known and unknown physics. What? Plus, she's very spooky. Don't be so judgy. Oh. A ghost mate sounds like fun. Look, <clears throat> ghost, um, we got off to a bad start, but a bad start is just, uh, oh, <clears throat> is just the first step of a good time. I'm looking forward to being your roommate. <laughs> huh? Oh, I think that was my fruit cup. You didn't put your name on it. Oh no, what are my petunias? <gasps> Done. You're taking forever in here. Hey, Angela. How are things going with the ghost mate? Oh, uh, super awesome. So awesome, it's not worth talking about. <laughs> so, uh, why don't you tell me how Becca's chef mansion audition is going? Well, she's still pretty excited about the mansion part, but the chef part, it's a problem. Outside. No, don't do that. Um, you you don't want to let the smoke win. What? Angela, no, 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 what are no, no, you? No, no, wait, no, no, no. Oh. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, I know it looks like I'm living in your driveway, huh? but uh, the truth is, uh, uh, okay, fine. Living with this ghost is awful. I can't do it anymore. Angela, you've got to stand up for your home. Go tell that ghost to pack her bags. Sounds like we need to do things the ginger way. <laughs> I'm talking about ghost hunting, baby! You're right. Enough is enough. Let's toast this ghost. <laughs> Total bore fest. Yes, now we're talking. Plasma against the wall! This ruined thing isn't working out! You've got to go. What? I'm a great roommate. I even did the dishes. That's not how you do the dishes! It's how I do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, rude! That is so disrespectful. Hmm. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> I got you, Ben. I got you. Don't oh, stop me. <laughs> Maybe Angela should just get on Chef Mansion with me. No, Angela's not going anywhere. All right, we just need to think of a plan that doesn't come from Ginger. Wait, where is Ginger? Ginger! Ginger! Ginger? Ginger! Ginger! Guys? I don't I see don't you. you. Oh no, the ghost is taking him to the other side. That can't be. Ginger, just describe your surroundings. It's weird here. Everything's all wrong. <gasps> There's a light. No, stay away from the light. Oh, I can see the light too. Ah! Oh, a door. <gasps> hey, that's a portal to the ghost world where the ghost first appeared. You're right, we have to go in. Be brave, everyone. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Isn't this place messed up? 
What do you think this is? A sacrifice dish or a demon eye? Wait, this isn't the ghost world. This is just an extra bedroom. Oh. Ah. It's my bedroom. Now get out! Hey, I fell in here while you're doing haunting. Don't blame me! <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> Don't touch my stuff! Oh, okay, I get it. Hey, ghost, what if I take this? No, Ooh, don't give touch my stuff. Stop! Look! <laughs> that elbow was signed by all four of the people. Give it back! You'll get it back if you can be a good roommate to me and Angela. What? Well, I was thinking I need a place to live. So what if I lived here? You <laughs> <laughs> don't see why not. Hey, you can't just move in. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. We could do a spa day and trade clothes and tell secrets. Spa day, trade clothes, tell secrets. No, no, no. You'd be terrible roommates. I can't unlive like that. I guess if you really can't live with us, hmm, you could move out? I'd love to leave, but I'm a mean ghost with, like, no friends. There's nowhere for me to go. Oh, man, I was terrified. Now I feel sad for the ghost. This is an emotional roller coaster. Wait. I may know a spot. Ghost, how are your cooking skills? Uh. This week on Chef Mansion, it's a frittata fiasco in the foyer. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make nightmares! Good job, Ghost! Good hustle, Ghost! Go, Can you go, see go, that? Go, she was so creepy! Go, go. I have to admit, that ghost is fun to watch. Sorry she took your spot on Chef Mansion, though. It's okay. I really just wanted a new place to live. And I found one. Um, I can stay, right? I mean, I know you have an empty room, so now you kind of have to let me... I'd love that. Welcome to the apartment. <gasps> Roomy. Ever in here. When are you going to be done? Ronnie, soon this trophy will be ours. We're going to win this super twosome science fair. Go team, Jinrod! <laughs> Class, I have an announcement. This year, the Super Twosome Science Fair will be sponsored by a local Super Twosome, Tom and Ben, of Tom and Ben Enterprises. And they're awarding the team with the best grade, a trip to bug camp. A trophy and a fun-filled summer swimming with bees? We need this. We got this. Now, as for the twosomes, Rachel, your partner, was Sherry. Drew F., you're with Drew H. And Ronnie, you're with... Darren. What? Aloha, teammate Ronnie! But, 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 but Miss Panthrax! Ronnie's supposed to be my partner! No, Ginger. You're with... Tanya. Ah, <laughs> oh, Tanya! But she's a... girl! <laughs> Friends, who are the best? Can one of you sign this and, and just write doctor next to your name? Sure. It's never a bad day to practice handwriting. Hang on. This says you broke your legs and can't go back to school until after the science fair? I'm no doctor, but those legs don't look broken. Ugh. Fine, detective. The truth is, I'm not hurt, but I can't go to school until the fair is over. Oh, I see what's happening here. Ginger, you don't have to drop out of the fair just because you know the judges. We will treat you and every other contestant the same. Ugh, it's not that. I have a world-shattering problem. My partner for the science fair is a girl. G and what's wrong with someone being a girl? I'm talking about a girl, girl. How am I even going to talk to her when...
without barfing! Easy, just treat her like an equal. You may even have a lot in common. That's ridiculous! Everybody tell Angela to stop being ridiculous! Okay, I guess I'll just have to move to another planet. Before you skip the fair, you should know that this summer, bug campers will get to make friendship lanyards out of tie-dye worms. You really want to miss that? 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 So many marshmallows, we puke, and then record our findings. That's not science, that's stupid. <gasps> I've been working on an idea for a solar-powered toaster. No one in our class is gonna be able to beat that. Well, I guess that's an okay idea. Fine. You're gluing that like a girl. I'm about to glue your mouth shut. Give it to me. That glue needs a manly squeeze. You touched my hand. Your hand touched mine. Cooties! I'm sorry, Ginger, but I have to keep a safe distance from you. I'm very cootie sensitive. Totally understandable. I'm just happy to chill with the dude again. At least a solar-powered toaster is a good idea for a project. How's it going? Uh, bad. Odd Tanya glued the sensor panel like a girl, which is wrong. And her girly fingers will probably mess up the conductor wires, too. Are those important? Obviously, Ronnie. Don't you know anything about solar toaster science? Uh, here, I'll show you how it works. Yes, that's Peace. it. Explain it all to Team Daryl. Hey, everybody, we are so excited for day one of the Super Twosome Science Fair. Teams will present their science projects all this week. Our first group today, by special request, is Darren and Ronnie. <coughs> Thank you, Miss Vanthrax. Team Daron is very excited to present a solar powered toaster! Oh, what? And then you just glue the center panel to the top of the toaster. We created it by gluing this sensor panel to the top of the toaster. Ah, they copied our idea! Ginger, don't interrupt Darren and Ronnie's A-plus presentation. A-plus? As in the grade? Indeed. Looks like we got ourselves some early frontrunners for bug camp. Agree. That appliance is going to toast the competition. Wonderful! Well, who wants some solar toast? Yeah! You have to me. Ginger, we know you don't like your partner. That doesn't mean you can lie your way out of the fair. It's not a lie! And, and that's the truth! Oh, man! Oh. How could you do this to me? Darren said we were helping. You, you told us you couldn't build a solar-powered toaster with a girl. Gross girl is gonna get ya! <laughs> 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 
it's a rope. <laughs> hey, listen, Tanya. You're smart, and I was a jerk, and we should call it truce, okay? <laughs> yeah, truce. Huh. Darren and Ronnie are the real jerks anyway. I wish my gum could fix them. Maybe it can. Welcome to the final day of the science fair. Ginger and Tanya, do you have a project? Or should I mark you both with a zero minus? We do have a project, Miss Vanthrax. What could it be? Getting married? <laughs> <laughs> yes, fellow classmates, it's true. I'm a boy and Tanya's a girl. But we have one thing in common. We both hate liars. So we invented lie detector gum. Oh, oh. To show how it works, we need a trustworthy volunteer. Like Darren. Yeah, Darren should do it. Lie detector gum? No way that could even work. Now, now, Ronnie. I'll test the gum. After all, I have nothing to hide. <laughs> oh. Did you steal the idea to make a solar-powered toaster? Ridiculous! The idea came to me in a dream. <laughs> As you can see, if someone is lying, the gum fuses their mouth shut for a hundred years. Does anyone else want to volunteer? <laughs> okay, I admit it. We stole Ginger and Tanya's idea. Me and Darren didn't know what to make. We just wanted to go to bug camp. I am extremely disappointed. Also, I'm slightly concerned about Darren. Is he going to be able to open his mouth again? Oh, he'll be fine. There's no such thing as lie detector gum. It's just super sticky prank gum. <laughs> Our real project is a solar-powered toaster! With a few improvements. Well, since it was your idea, I will allow it. You both get an A+. Plus. Which means you're the super twosome headed to bug camp! Why the long face? You look like the saddest cowpoke in the West. Today is my school's family field trip to the Dude Ranch, and my parents had to leave town for work, so I can't go! But hey, the Dude Ranch isn't so great. It's hot, the tech leaves much to be desired, and it smells like dust. Nice try, Ben. My dad and I were gonna win the father-son beanbag shootout. I've been bragging to my friends about how I was going to crush them. Now, the only crush thing is my dreams. <laughs> Too bad you don't know any other responsible adults who can take you. Uh... Mm. Ah! We can be your parents for the day. You'd really do that for me? Let me put it this way. Ta -da! Then let's mosey on out and hit the old dusty trail. Because family fun awaits us! <laughs> Howdy, Ronnie! Howdy, Ginger! Ready to get beaned? All right. Beat my dad! <laughs> Whatever, Ronnie. My fake dad Tom and I are gonna kick your butt! Easy, boys. The shootout isn't until high sundown. There's a lot more Dude Ranch to do before then. I want to ride the mechanical bull. I wouldn't say no to a refreshing sarsaparilla. Hang on, everyone. We should ask Ginger what he'd like to do. After all, this day is all about... Roy? 
Where seldom is heard a discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day Howdy, Roy. Hey, my favorite neighbors. <laughs> what brings you around these parts? Well, Ginger's parents couldn't take him on this trip, so I kindly stepped up to make sure that he has the best day ever. Whoa, that's so nice, and really similar to what I'm doing. I asked the school if they needed a chaperone, you know, to come make sure the kids have fun. In a way, it's like I'm dad to all of them. Wow, Roy, that sounds super rewarding. I don't do it for the rewards, but I'll always take your compliments. You're not about to get all distracted by Roy again, right? You know that usually does not end well. I would... You're right. Roy, today isn't about us. I completely agree, Tomo. I'm glad you don't think I'm volunteering here to cover up something evil that I'm doing. Obviously, that would be silly, wouldn't it? Hmm. Now, the key to tossing horseshoes is throwing it up, but not out. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Whoa! Okay, my turn! <laughs> hey, Occupado! You're getting better. No one got bashed in the knee that time. <laughs> Aha! Hmm? Oh. <gasps> All right, let's get lunch. What are you up to now, Roy? <gasps> Tom, check this out. I caught a real tumbleweed. Oh, what do you have there? Not something Roy dropped, because I have not been following him. OK, all right, I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't get distracted by Roy, but look at this. <gasps> An X. It's a map of the ranch. Why would Roy have this? We have to find out what's going on. So let's just pop out really fast. Tom, are you going somewhere? Hey there, kiddo. Uh, listen, um, something important came up, and I have to run out for a little while. But what about the beanbag shootout? I'm gonna be back in time, I promise. <sighs> Sorry. It's so hot. Does that map say if there's an ice cream stand with a really comfortable couch in the area? Tom, you promised Ginger you'd be back in time for the beanbag battle. <laughs> Wait, there is somebody out there. A jackalope? It was Roy. He's up to something. Come on, follow me. Ginger, check out the costumes they let you wear in the old-timey photos. I'm a cactus. What's wrong? My parents ditched me, and now Tom ditched me too. Tom will be back in time. And if he isn't, I'll be your partner. Uh, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, I just have to get out of this costume first. Oh, oh. Well, this is a bit of a pickle. Come That's on, Tom. Oh, where are you? Roy! Where are you? I know you don't want to hear this, but maybe he didn't go into the dark and creepy mine. That can't be true. We're not losing him now. We're so close. Ah. <laughs> Run! Wait! Just get in.
don't understand. Where is Roy? I may know, Tom, but you're not going to like hearing it. See, I think the desert was messing with your mind. Deserts are known to do that. They can't be. I know what I saw. You know what you think you saw, but could it have been a mirage? <gasps> there is somebody out there. Although, to be fair, that shovel really does capture Roy's chin. I ditched Ginger to chase a mirage. All he wanted was family fun, and I messed it up. Okay, buckaroos, rules are simple. Last unbeam man standing wins. On your marks, <laughs> get set. <laughs> If my sense of direction hasn't failed me, those tracks head back to the ranch. Hey, get ready to turn us! a beanbag war. Tom, you came back! Thought you could use a little help, partner. Now how about we finish this thing? <laughs> Oh. oh! This trophy is taller than I am! Thanks for being my dad slash partner! No problem, Ginger. I'm just sorry that I almost let Roy and his dumb map get in the way of family fun. Uh, Tom? <laughs> That's a little cowpokes activity place map. The kids here get them free with their lunch. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to announce the winner of the Fritz for a Day Charity Raffle! Here we go! <laughs> Some lucky fan is about to win a whole day of hanging out with the greatest person in town. You mean the mailman? No, Hank. He's talking about Angela. I wonder what my friend for a day and I will do together. My friend for the day will be... 56! Oh, oh, that's me, coming through! No. I won! You're all mine, Smiley. Rhonda? I had no idea you were a fangela. Uh, so? We can do anything you want. How would you like to spend our day? Oh, fun day of you working for me at the diner! <laughs> See you at 8 a.m. shop, sugar. Angela, I'll be recording your day for the charity website. So let's see a big, friendly smile. Mm. Okay, let's do that again. Uh, maybe less like you want to bite someone. Ugh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help people by doing something fun, but now I'm helping people by doing boring old hard work with Rhonda. Well, maybe it won't be so bad. If anyone can make hard work fun, it's you. Remember when you turned cleaning the garage into a game? Ah! <laughs> Today's a good day! 
except when we had a broomstick fight and Hank poked me in the eye. Ow! <laughs> you guys are right. I can make this day fun. I'm gonna work my butt off and have a great time doing it. <laughs> Rhonda, I'm here to work, and boy, am I excited about Hooray! it. Hooray! Oh, a co-worker. Uh-huh, and she's a minute late. And very excited! getting through the worst parts of the job is to sing a catchy work tune. Oh, okay. I know about tunes. Oh, good. Then you can join in like this. Scrub, scrub, good riddance to the scrub, scrub. Um, Wakanda, I don't know if that's catchy. Sure it is. And it keeps going. Second verse. Toil, toil, wash the... Nope, no need for the second verse. I'm done. I hope today was everything you wanted it to be. Wait! Before you go, there's one last thing you could do for me on our friend for a day day. Uh, what now? May I please have your autograph? Oh, really? Sure, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted me to do more. Wait a minute. This is an employment contract. You don't want my autograph. You want me working in the diner permanently! Well, uh... Look over there! <gasps> Stop it! I already saw the paper! But you're supposed to do whatever I want, and I want you to sign that contract. If you think I am signing this just because I tried to help a charity... Ahem. Look, Angela, the Fangelas are tuning in to see how the day's going. Yeah, you're the fan. Thanks, Angela. Uh, then you are right, because you don't break raffle rules. <laughs> You signed the contract? Why? I took a vow to do whatever my friend for a day wanted. Now, what'll it be, hun? Hmm, I'm trying to decide between the regular fries and the curly Hello. fries. Excuse me? Regular fries are hey. classic, hey. Yes. but I curly fries are silly and fun. Just order! I don't have all day! Uh, just a glass of water, please. Uh. Okay, maybe she's a waffle fries girl. I do not like what this place is doing to Angela. <sighs> hey, co-worker, how's the new job treating you? Uh, not good. I wanted to help people, and now I'm stuck bringing burgers, flinging fries, and slinging soup. I'm never doing charity again. Look on the bright side. You only have to work here one more day. What are you saying, Gumball? Well, ain't you heard? The diner's doomed. Someone stole Rhonda's entire spoon supply, and after she bought new ones, she doesn't have enough money for the rent. She's gonna have to close the place down. <gasps> but the diner is our favorite hangout. I mean, I don't like working here, but I don't want it to close. Oh, Rhonda tried everything to get the money. That's why she signed up for your contest. She was trying to get some extra help for free. And that's why she's been such a mean boss. Uh, maybe. Anyways, her landlord is coming for that rent tomorrow night. <gasps> and if she doesn't have the money by then, it'll be Adios Diner. Yeah, they're turning it into a taco stand called Adios Diner. What? Not if I can help it. Jeremy, forget that I said I was never doing charity again. Because I'm doing it again to save this diner. Well, old girl, today's the day. It's been fun. But now you're closing. What? I thought charity was just for fun. Uh. But now I know there's lots of work to be done. Oh, my friends, there's nothing finer 
then coming together to save this diner. Surprise! Hey there, hungry friends! You can do your part! Y'all like food, so don't be rude! Just look into your heart and save the diner! What is going on in here? Angela heard you needed money, so she told her fans to come over. And people from the Friend for a Day site are sending donations. It's a restaurant that we all love! If it's our town, look at the good club! It's true, this place is heaven sent. So let's all help us pay the rent and save the diner! He's here. Wait. Rhonda's landlord is the landlord? Yes, I am the lord of many lands. Now give me my restaurant rent money, or you are evicted. Not bad. But this bucket feels $20 short. Landlord, I'm sure someone in this crowd has an extra $20. What do you say, people? Who's got one more donation in them? Uh-oh, I think this crowd is totally cashed out. Wow, so close, yet so not close enough. I can't keep the place open unless I can add the full rent to my money collection. Hey, landlord, I've been singing songs for tips. How about I sing you a $20 song? You? <laughs> Your sugary music gives me cavities. You never sing about the good stuff. Hard work, being tenacious, struggle. A song about that would be a $20 song. But you don't have a song about that, do you? I, uh, no, I guess I don't. But I know someone who does. Rhonda, sing your dishwashing song. What? That's not a party song, that's for working. Saving your diner is working. Come on, Rhonda. I did what you said for a whole day. Now it's your turn. Okay, um, here goes nothing. Uh, this is a ditty my Nana taught me about dishes. Scrub, scrub, good riddance to the grub. Grub, work to clean the plate. Plate! Then soak it in the tub, tub, tub. <sighs> ah, what is this lovely tune? It's a song about hard work, just like you wanted. Sing it loud and proud, Rhonda. Toil, toil, wash the dirt and soil, soil. No time for fun until you're done. Now rinse off all the oil. My Nana also taught me this. She would make me sing it during my two-day-long chore days. Ah, such memories. This song is worth twenty dollars. You are not evicted. Ah, oh, Angela, I can't believe you did all of this to help me. Is there anything I could do to repay you? Actually, there is. Rhonda. It would be my pleasure. You're fired! <gasps> yeah! oh! Oh! I can't wait to get on this bus. It's okay, guys. It should be here in five, four, three, two. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Done! All aboard the beach bus! excited about the jellyfish bloom at sundown. And there is no way I am missing the end of summer boardwalk bike race. If anyone else wants to ride, the bus has a few extra beach bikes. Oh, that all sounds so fun. But I'm looking forward to a romantic day with just me and Tom. Boo! Boo all you want, but me and Angela have been planning a romantic beach getaway all summer. 
And all we need is a beach towel and an entire cooler filled with homemade ice pops. This day is going to be unforgettable. <gasps> hey. You're giving up summer fun so you can make gaga eyes at each other? Look, you'll be begging to hang with us. Oh! Did the bus oh. just oh. break down? Oh, no. Do we have to walk the rest of the way? I'm wearing flip-flops. Wow. I don't think we're walking anywhere because we're stranded in the middle of the desert. Ah! This bus is bus tech. Oh, but another bus can come pick us up in 12 hours. 12 hours? Well, sorry, little dude. We must be like the waves and roll with it. Huh? Hmm. Don't worry, everyone. I, a genius, will get us moving with plenty of time to see those jellyfish. What? <laughs> this might take a while. Oh man. The only thing we can do now is eat the popsicles Tom made and think about what might have been. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Guys, I see sand and sun. All right, the desert isn't all that different from the beach. Yeah, it's like a beach where the ocean is really, really far away. Exactly. So I say we all have beach fun here. <laughs> Angela. I believe we still have a date. Good for you. But how am I going to snorkel to a whale? Oh, Ginger, you don't need a whale to have a good time. Uh... Hey, Tom, if you squint, the heat waves on the horizon kind of look like an ocean. This is surprisingly nice. What are you doing? We thought about what you said, Tom, yeah. and you're right. We can have beach day fun even without a beach. That's great, but we're on a date. And it turned into a hangout, which is better than a date. Let's break out those ice pops, baby! No! These are for me and Angela. But we need refreshment. What if we die in this heat? Well, there is bottled water at the bus. Stop being so dramatic. Ah. <laughs> you win for now. But I won't rest until these ice pops are mine! Something tells me this isn't over. This isn't over! Huh? How did this get here? Uh. Huh? <gasps> People of the bus! We were meant to be having beachy fun on this last day before the fall, but then came the great break now we all sit, bored and hot, all except the daters! The horrid frozen treats won't be suffered! I ask you, is that right? Those daters won't give us the ice pops! Then I say, we take the ice pops! want to be a rapper, but I'm pretty sure I could do rapping. Hello? Huh? You're so distracted. Uh, sorry. I just don't want anyone stealing our ice pops. Yeah, I figured that out. But this date is about us, not the dessert, right? Bring it on. No. 
Me and Tom just want to spend a day together at the beach. Or a beach-like environment. If the ice pops are so important to you, take them. Angela, no! Our date was being ruined by kind of healthy dessert. <gasps> ice pops aren't that important. No, they're not just ice pops. What? I wanted to get you a special end of the summer present, and I saw these beautiful earrings at the mall that reminded me of you, but I wanted to give them to you in a cool way, so I froze them in the ice pops. And I had planned to surprise you with them on a beach day date. Oh, that's so sweet. But wait. Ginger has my earrings now? Yes. I didn't tell you because I wanted you to be surprised. Obviously, that was not smart of me. Well, huh. what are you waiting for? <gasps> Let's get them back. Wait. <laughs> I've got to admit, for a while, I was worried we were acting crazy. But now, I see you've got results. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ginger. You really motivated us to be our best selves. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Uh, I got it! That's right, Tom! <laughs> Get there! Yes. Yes! I did it! As if there was ever any doubt. Huh? Where did everybody go? Oh. I didn't fix this bus for nothing. Get ready, everyone! I'm coming for ya! remind you of me? Yeah, because you love pizza. And now you get to have pizza on your ears every day. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, they're great. Very cheesy. I'm OK, folks. I'm OK. But I don't think that bus is going to drive us to the beach today. How are we going to get home? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's the first falling leaf of autumn. <laughs> Bring it on! After summer fun like this, I'm looking forward to school. <laughs> What's the point of an apartment warming party? Is Angela and Becca's apartment even cold? Ah, it's the first big thing they're doing together as roommates. A way of setting their living situation off to a good start. And it's a chance to dance. I've been practicing my moves for this dance party all week. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Well, 
Either way, I'm sure the girls have planned a night of fun and friendship. What was even the point of me buying these special dance shoes if we're not even having a dance party? I guess huh? there wasn't one. Dance parties are terrible, stupid, and lame! A weird vampire party! I tell you how ridiculous terrible, you sound, but I've been in I'm never speaking to you again! Ah! Oh. Whoa! This apartment warming just got really heated. What happened last night? I thought you and Becca were getting along. We were, until we tried to plan that dumb party. She covered up my disco ball with ugly creep curtains. She wouldn't stop messing with my party playlist. And she even tried to get rid of my favorite lamp. We're roommates, and that means we're supposed to be best friends. But how can people be friends if they can't agree on anything? Maybe we're just too different. It sounds like you're suffering from roommate syndrome. It's a relatively common psychological ailment where the stress of living together makes friends fight. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have that syndrome. But now me and Becca will never talk again. That's not true. This actually happens to me and Hank a lot. But we have a system so that when we get on each other's nerves, we can find the fun. Tom, take out the trash. I have nowhere to put my chewed gum. No, you take out the trash. I did it last month, and I have important things to do. Oh, and watching TV isn't important. It's a mid-season finale! <laughs> Ooh, friendship activity! activity. Wait, that really works? Mm -hmm. Every time. Well, Hank, we're having a private conversation here. Ooh, fine. You bet and Angela just chat it up in the common room, and I'll go hide in the dirt. Yeah. Oh, friendship activity. Ice cream? Yeah. Huh. I think I get it now. Hello, Becca. Angela, what do you want? I want to show you something. Something that's going to solve all our problems. Oh. <laughs> we have roommate syndrome, so I planned a whole day of friendship just for us. Uh, OK. <gasps> Why do I have to dress like a doll for this? Because dressing up is the first friendship saving fun tivity. This tiara is pinching my head. Oh, well, think of it as a pinch of friendship from your world's best roommate. <laughs> Yay! one of my things. Wait, what? Your things? Today is about our friendship. All we've done so far is things you want to do. Oh. Oh, no, Becca, you're right. I'm sorry I made bonding all about me. Um, you can pick the next thing. I'll do anything you want. A shopping spree? <laughs> How about scrapbooking? Oh, how about a movie musical marathon? Actually, there's a blindfolded parachute in that. We can sign up for a tandem jump. <gasps> this is going to be great. I'll email you the waivers to sign, and we can head right over. Waivers? In case the jump goes wrong and we horrifically die. <laughs> the usual. <gasps> Too late if you 
want to do something else? There's a tap dancing class. Ah, this looks crazy, Maze. <laughs> Race you to the practice van. your friendship day with Becca going? Um, it's sure going, Tom, and we are doing all the things. I just found something I know you'll love. The spa is having a day of total relaxation. You and Becca could go right now. A day of total relaxation sounds amazing. Activity and it turns out the spa isn't really her style. Well, just keep doing whatever you're doing. You can't friendship bond if you're not with your friend. <sighs> agreed to this day. Maybe we'd never hang out, but at least we'd both have our heads. Uh, and, uh, please forgive me. Uh, sure. What? I forgive you. What did you do? Wait. You're not even here? I, no, I'm so here. Woo! Uh, Why'd you even agree to do this if you were just going to ditch me? By the time you get home, I'll be moved out! Our friendship and roommateship is over! Oh, no. Does this mean you'll be sticking around? Because we have some cheese-covered strawberries that you just have to try. They're very different tastes, but they work together. They're different, but they work together! I've gotta go! I have a roommate-lationship to save! Um. Uh, yeah. uh, Angela, if you're here, I'm back to not talking to you. But I will let the apartment know that I'm leaving forever. Good boy. Uh, I... Welcome to our disco vampire den. Angela, what is all of this? This is us. Look, I don't like some of your stuff, and you don't like some of my stuff. But we both like being friends. We're like strawberries and cheese. Two very different tastes that go well together. Okay. But you still shouldn't have ditched me earlier. I know, and I'm so sorry. Please don't move out, Becca. 
I could never move out of a place with such killer decorations. And since the place looks so great, maybe we can have a party to show it off. An apartment warming party do-over! I messed up a song. Great prank! We are prank and everybody knows that I'm prank dead. The entrances are all blocked. I don't think Ginger can get in here. But maybe that's what he wants you to think. Oh, we won't be safe until prank day is over. And that won't be until tomorrow. <gasps> Hello. Oh. You. Who's ready for a great? What's with a pillow fort? Ben, did you forget? It's prank day. We have to defend ourselves from Ginger's practical jokes. Oh, no! That can't be today! I need to finish my freeze blaster! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> A little too much blaster, not enough freeze! Cool invention, Ben! Who blocked the back door? Oops, my bad. <laughs> no! Wow! You seem really stressed. Is it because it's prank day? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm all pranked out. Really? Yeah, there's a new season of my favorite scary show. Aliens versus aliens versus even more aliens. So I had to get my pranking in early. I did a whole big thing outside. Pudding! Pudding! <laughs> well, this is a relief. We were all worried for nothing. Prank day turns out to be just a regular day. Yeah, anybody want a jelly bean? Mm. Oh. Mm, thanks. Mm. 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 These are good, Ginger. Mm. What flavor are they? Mine was apple. Yours are triple hot pepper. <laughs> it's even better than I hoped it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's real and what's not real. Are these actually fries? You think a fear of fries is a bad thing? I'm afraid of the bathroom, and it's becoming a problem! We'll just stay here until prank day is over, all right? If, if we're not in the garage, then his garage traps can't get us. Ah! No, 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 no. You are all rocking prank day. I never knew you were so festive. What are you talking about? We hate 
Vegas holiday. Really? Because your videos are number one trending on Fastapic. We have to do something about this. Well, it's prank day. Why don't you just, you know, prank him back? That's not a bad idea. But he's unfoolable. The only time he lets his guard down is when he's watching that show. What's it called? Aliens versus aliens versus something? That's it. We're going to turn the ultimate pranker into the pranker who learns never to prank people again. <laughs> because we couldn't tell who the aliens were. They can look like anyone. Friends, family, even your mailman. Ginger. They got Angela. <laughs> it was the aliens that did it. Her last words were, no, no, oh! This can't be happening. This is definitely happening. I mean, you heard Guy News, man. Are we already too late? What do we do? I don't want to be vaporized by an alien. Don't worry, Ginger. We'll never let that happen to you. You can use the storage unit as a bunker to hide in. Now we just, we just gotta wait a few hours and, and prank day will be over. <laughs> no more pranks for another year. Or maybe ever. Now that the bathroom is finally safe, I got some things to take care of. See you in 10. Hey, somebody throw me a magazine. And I can finally get back to working on my freeze blaster. Huh? Okay, who took my freeze blaster? Well, you probably left it in your other pants. Check to see if any of them are frozen. Not funny. The freeze blaster could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. Can we all please look for it? Huh? Oh, man. Uh, it's not in the couch cushions. It's not under the mail pile. Well, then, where is... Oh, no. <laughs> Back away, everyone. I'm gonna turn these alien slime balls into one big outer space slushy. Ginger! Wait! I watch a lot of alien shows, so if anyone can save the world, I can! You're making a big mistake! No, I'm not! Don't follow me! I'm coming to get you, aliens! No! Ginger! Oh, whoa! Look! Oh, Tom, what were we thinking? They're frozen! Ginger must have thought they were undercover aliens! All right, aliens! You think you're cool? I'll show you cool! Ginger, stop! Don't try to talk me out of this! I'm serious, there are no aliens! I mean, look! Angela, she's still alive! It's true, I am not a pile of dust! That Angela is obviously an alien wearing her body as a disguise! Have you lost your mind? Get me back my mouth! I'm starting to wonder if you all are working with the aliens. You locked me in a closet so I wouldn't be able to go out and fight them. Now you're here telling me to go home with an obviously fake Angela. <laughs> Maybe I should freeze you just to be safe. No, uh, Ginger, don't freeze us, okay? This was all just a prank. 
We wanted to teach you a lesson so you would stop pranking us. Hey, please, if you just put down the blaster, we promise to never try to prank you again. And, and we'll let you prank us. Even when it's not prank day, you can prank us once a month. No, twice, twice a month, and we won't even complain. Well, there's only one thing that I can say to that. <laughs> gotcha. Huh? What? <laughs> I thought you'd probably try to prank me this year. So I had my girl on the inside give you a push in the right direction. Becca! Oh. You didn't! What? That's what this day is all about. <laughs> so so the whole town was in on this? You can't out-prank the ultimate pranker. Nice try, though. <laughs> now you know the best way to celebrate. goodies for your stay-at-home camping trip. Woo oh boy! We're going to be up all night camping our guts up. <laughs> Camp Hank and Ginger, the, the best, best camp around. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Please keep it down. I'm trying to work. Well, Ben, you look terrible. No offense. I haven't slept in weeks. I'm competing in the techie contest for best inventor. But I don't have an invention yet, and I can't think of one because my brain is fried. Well, if your brain is fried, you should unfry it with a nap. I'm too stressed. I couldn't take a nap even if I wanted to. Well, when I was a little girl, I would always fall asleep to an old lullaby my grandma would sing. I could try singing it to you. Angela, I'm not a baby. A lullaby isn't going to work on me. Oh, it works on everyone. I'll just show you. Sleepy eyes, sleepy town. Everybody just lay down. Seriously, Close I can assure you, this will never. fault if your scary storytelling voice is calm and soothing. Good morning! It's a beautiful day and I feel great! Angela's lullaby really did the trick. I told you the song would work. Now maybe your not tired brain will come up with an invention for the techie. Oh, it already has. My invention will be your lullaby. Huh? <laughs> uh, what is this? My lullaby is an old song, not a science thing. But what if it was a science thing? To cure insomnia. In fact, I shall call it the Insomnia app. Oh, I don't know. Did I mention the app would feature you singing and would be seen in potentially millions of homes? Let's do this. I think we got it! Finally! A hundred takes is a lot. It had to be perfect. We're making groundbreaking sleep technology here. Well, if we help one person have sweet dreams, it'll all be worth it. <coughs> you need a break. I'm taking you to the movies. Nothing soothes a silky voice like buttery popcorn. Yay! <coughs> have fun! I'll finish coding this right after I try on my tuxedo for the Techie Awards. The Insomnia app is a guaranteed win. <laughs> Ginger, what are we doing in here? It's the great outdoors, not the great in the garage doors. Last night was a disgrace. That can't happen again. But I have a plan. We'll use Ben's new lullaby machine to put us into a power nap now. Then, when we wake up, we'll be rested and ready for an all-night camp extravaganza. I like it. Do you think the machine's ready yet? Of course it is! Hello, 
sleepy heads. Whoa. Security protocols are not finished. Shall I lullaby anyway? Yes! At maximum power! Very well. Maximum power. If we don't sleep now, our all-nighter is doomed! Sleepy eyes, sleepy town. Everybody wow, that's really just lay amazing. down. Close your eyes. Mm. Breathe in deep to the whole oh. world's asleep. Sleep, oh, oh. sleep, sleep. You think it's uh, supposed to do that? Oh, world, sleep. Ta -da. I'd like to thank my biggest inspiration, my mentor, my guide, and truest friend, my own brain! <laughs> How did this happen? She's not ready for a real user experience, especially not at maximum power! Oh, no. world no. sleep. No, 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 no. Oh. Eyes, <laughs> Everybody <laughs> just lay down. superheroes all attack the bad guy at the same time. Because then it would have been a really short movie, and we wouldn't have gotten so much popcorn. Huh? Weird. The donuts after dark cart is empty. It's never empty after dark. That's their whole thing. Where did everyone... <gasps> oh. Hello? Anyone, what, what, what is going on? Huh? <laughs> Breathe in deep yeah. the whole world's asleep. It's the insomnia. We have to wake everybody up. Sir? Uh, hello? Five more minutes. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Uh, hello! Hey, sir! Good morning! Your lullaby is too relaxing. How do we stop it? I don't know. Unless, yes! When I was little and didn't want to go to sleep, I would make up a song to keep me awake. Dinosaur land.
this is what we get for trying to cheat our way to a perfect camping trip. Oh. Hey, sorry your invention for the techie conference went bad, buddy. Oh, that's okay. I already got a bunch of other ideas. It's easy to be creative when your brain isn't fried. That's the spirit. And at least thanks to your hologram, the whole town got the nap of a lifetime. Creepy knock in the costume. This is my uniform for the Spirit of Halloween decorating contest. I'm the official kid judge, a role I take very seriously. Come on, guys, nothing is jumping out of here. You better step it up if you want to turn this place into a haunted house of horrors. Oh, uh, we're not doing that this year. What? Don't you want the first prize orange ribbon? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but I've always thought that contest was kind of lame. <gasps> hmm. Well, you've made your opinion on this clear. <gasps> I guess I'll go check Roy's decorations. Whoa, wait, Roy is in the contest? <laughs> <gasps> Hello, neighbors. I hope you're decorating this year. Remember, even if you can't do a great job, you're still doing your part to make the neighborhood spooky. <clears throat> Bats and graves together? Ooh, he's taking a risk and it's paying off. Yeah, Roy's probably gonna win. He's the best at everything. Not so fast. We're doing this. Welcome to the Garage of Ghouls. Oh! You know, we were wrong about the contest. This was fun. Maybe it is how cool people Halloween. Indeed! Looks like a healthy rivalry between neighbors has pushed us to be our best. I agree. Ah! Nice work, guys. Mm. <laughs> Sorry to startle you. I whipped up a batch of haunted cookies in the spirit of friendly Ooh, competition. Oh, nice. What do you want, Roy? To concede that the orange ribbon is ours? <laughs> Tommy, you're so hey. funny. No, I wanted your opinion on this little thing I set up. Wow. Incredible. Oh, man, the judges are going to love that. Oh, I sure hope so. The cauldron is full of actual witch's brew. I'll give you the recipe after I win. If you win. Come on, everyone. We're taking this to the next level. <laughs> Tom? still beating us. Oh, uh, we can't be out of decorations. I found Valentine's hearts. If we hung these up, people might think they miss Valentine's Day. And then they'd be like, oh no, my loved ones will be so disappointed. That's a little scary, right? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know, Angela. That love stuff is the enemy of fear. No! Oh! Decorating progress check! Let's see what you got! Is Ginger in charge? Yeah, he's very passionate about this. Hmm. Nice use of lawn scares. Pumpkins are spooky. No spiders in the webs, so though. There's a deduction. On a scale of one to ten gingers, you're at five gingers so far. Five gingers is good. Most houses couldn't get three. But you'll need to go bigger if you want to beat Roy. He's sitting comfortably at seven gingers. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll be back tonight for the final score. Oh, I know what you're going to say, that it was dumb to try and beat Roy. Not at all. Hmm? I was going to suggest a change in strategy. Behold my newest invention, the Realizer. <gasps> it can make inanimate objects move. Observe. Huh? Yes! Whoa! <laughs> it's brilliant! I've never seen decorations do that. If we use that, our place is going to be way scarier than Roy's. And Halloween glory will be ours! <laughs> hey, Tomo, you had something to tell me? Gosh, I really hope you're not quitting. Competitions like this make both of us better. Oh, I'm not quitting. I'm giving you a chance to bow out gracefully. Bow out? <laughs> Why would I do that? Ah! Okay, that's a pretty good trick. Oh, it's not a trick, it's science. Ben brought our decorations to life, which means that we're the only house of horrors to feature actual horrors. Mm. Happy Halloween! Thank you for visiting the soon-to-be officially scariest place in town. So, what do you say? Do we win? Or do you have a bunch of monster pumpkins living at your place? No, I don't. I bet you even have a plan for what to do with these when Halloween is over. That's easy. We'll make them clean up the yard, then put themselves in storage for next year. And those poor pumpkins will just sit in storage? All year? Aw, well, maybe not all of them. We might take a few and roast their seeds for a tasty snack. Or we can make a pumpkin pie. Ooh, there is nothing more satisfying than biting into a big old slice of pumpkin pie. <laughs> Uh, ben, the pumpkins can't understand us, right? They're just pumpkins, right? Well, the realizer theoretically would increase the intelligence of whatever it was used on. Ah, okay, looks like you all have a handle on this. I should head home to work on my not-alive decorations. Oh! The pumpkins have gone rotten! Everybody run! <laughs> Monsters have turned on their creator. Just like in the horror classic, The Ungrateful Monster. We need to barricade the door. I've got this. Well, it's nice to see the two of you on the same side for once. We're not on the same side. Roy got jealous and made the pumpkins mad at us on purpose. How could I do that, Tom? I don't know how pumpkins think. Oh, yes, you do. Hold on! We can't start fighting each other. We're already fighting for our lives. I've seen a lot of spooky movies, okay? I know that if we just... <laughs> Quick, into the storage unit. Where do we retreat to once they break in here? Ben, tell me there's a go back to normal button on the realizer. No! An unrealizer would be a completely different invention. This is it. We're about to get carved by a bunch of pumpkins. We'll have to find something in here to defend ourselves with. What's in these boxes? Yeah. Yeah. Valentine stuff? This won't help. Wait, maybe it will. What's the opposite of fear? Love. Ben, give me that realizer. In the name of love. Let's go. Eat living love, you overgrown gourd! Why? Yes! Oh. 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 
Let's see which house earned the coveted orange. <gasps> what have you done? Wait! Did I miss Valentine's Day? Oh, no. My loved ones will be so disappointed. Quiet! Look, uh, we had a little problem with the decorations. <laughs> well, now you've got a bigger problem because you're getting last place of all houses ever! Oh. Gosh, I won! I'd like to thank my neighbors for really pushing me to be the spookiest neighbor there is. <gasps> well, Roy, you deserve to be loved. Mm. Huh? No! Yeah! Oh, we're mere minutes away from the MC's Dance of Palooza Artie concert. Ooh, I love concerts I'm not in. This is gonna be fun. But remember, we're here for a reason. Tom and Ben Enterprises is releasing a Dance Yourself Healthy app. So we're throwing a huge party to get the word out. As soon as this concert is over, we'll ask the MC for help. Oh, yeah! I'm sure he'll be up for it. He is the most up for it, upbeat guy I have ever met. Wiggity welcome, y'all. Make some noise. Or don't. It doesn't matter. Sadness, sadness surrounds me. Oh, oh no! Something is wrong with the MC. by sadness. Hey, MC, uh, we were gonna ask if you could help us throw a party, but is it a bad time? Sorry, Palerino, I'm not feeling very party-tastic right now. See, my parents are coming to town. But parents are nice. Maybe they'll take you to brunch. You don't understand. My parents are old school business folk, which is why they don't know I'm an MC. What? what? Being an MC is literally who you are! I never told them. Excuse they me. think I have a business job, but I don't even know what that is. Um, well, that's no problem. We have a business. What if we made it look like you're in charge of it? Huh? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a bad idea, Tom. Parents are tough to trick. Like my mom, she always knew when I spilled soup, even if I made up a great story that a witch did it. No, this will work. We'll trick the MC's parents, and then the MC won't be too sad to do our party. <laughs> that sounds radical, Roni. I mean, good. Let's do it. To seem normal, you need to dress normal. Let's try on a few looks. I agree. Nope. Uh, no. No way. Yes! That is it! Mm -hmm. It's perfect! Next, let's work on your walk. Breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Businessmen Whoa. don't boogie. <laughs> oh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> talking seriously is essential to being taken seriously. Now repeat after me. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Moms and Pops in the place to be? It's me, your baby boy, a.k.a. MC! <laughs> Not even close. You can do this. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Hello, Mother. Yo, what's up, Pops? I... Uh, uh, hello, Mother. Hello, Father. <gasps> Woo! Oh, yeah. yeah! I've done it! <gasps> By golly, I've done it for true! Everyone, meet our company's temporary fake boss, the MC! Oh! oh, I always knew you could fake do it. Do you want a coffee, sir? One mocha latte, please. Absolutely, sir. Make it a double. 
Okay. Tom, I know you're trying to help, mm -hmm. but this is just going to make things harder for the MC later. Yeah, but that's later, Angela, and this is now. So we're good. Look boring, everyone! They're here! Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Maurice, I'm surprised to see you in a suit. What is that thing on your head? Well, <coughs> that's our boss's business visor. He wears it so he can always look at uh, business news. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh look at those numbers go up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Very professional, Martha. We should get business visors. <laughs> uh, uh, so this is where the party's at, and by party I mean very hard work. Hmm. I like it. I wasn't sure what to expect from you, but I had no idea you were so well adjusted. Oh. You know, seeing all this gives me an idea. We're in town to host a sales contest. Hungry young companies all trying to sell the most kitchen appliances. And by golly, I think your company should compete. Oh, yes. It would make us very proud. 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 Absolutely. We're in. What? Boss, don't you think we're too busy for that? There's no such thing as too busy. Unless you don't want that party. Aww. Can't you throw them away and say that they fell in a hole? No, we need to actually sell them. On the bright side, we've sold so much weirder things than blenders. This actually might not be too hard. Okay, workers, I got something that'll really help our sales. Uh, what are these? Branding? Which is a word I just read in a book. It means people will like us more if we oh. look like a team. Yeah, this is great, uh, MC, but um, maybe leave the actual work stuff to us? Uh, no can do, underling. As long as we're in this contest, I'm officially your boss. Oh. You're gonna pay me to buy your blenders. It's a long story. Look, will you take a check for all my savings? All right. 500 blenders, salt. Oh. Quiet, please. It is now time to announce the winners of our sales contest. And the winner of the contest is... It'll be okay. I found a way to win this. Soon, everything will be back to normal. <gasps> Our son Maurice! His company sold over 500 blenders! Oh, yes! And now for your prize. You are now the official seller of these fine blenders. Forever! What? No! What? Maybe even longer. I hope your company is ready, son, because you'll be selling these for years and years. Enough! That man is not my boss. Admit it, you are not a businessman. <laughs> That's obviously a lie. Take it back or I will fire you. What are you doing? This is not how a winning businessman acts! I have to control my employees! Huh? Baguette about it. Oh no! I got your back! Eat potatoes and soup! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bam, bam, bam! Aw, yeah! No potato can stop this sweet move! Aw, yeah! Stop this at once! Oh, I can explain. 
You see, I just, um, it's all a lie. I'm not a normal, well-adjusted working man. I'm a slim dancing MC. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. But it's not exactly the moving and grooving pile of positivity we hoped for. Plus, I don't think we're gonna sell too many copies of Dance Yourself Healthy at a disaster like this. I feel awful. I tried to help and I wound up ruining the MC's life. Maurice Claremont, some people need to talk to you. Uh, hello mother, hello father. Uh, you don't have to see this, I know I'm a disappointment. It was a shock to learn you weren't a businessman. Then this young lady showed us what you really do, and it's quite charming. You mean you're not ashamed that I'd rather shake my money maker than be a money maker? Of course not, son. In fact, I wouldn't mind trying out some funky moves of my own. Huh. Oh, oh, come on now, let me break off a piece of that freshness. I guess telling the truth really is the best idea, even if it's hard. Tom, why did we just get a receipt from Rhonda for 500 blenders? Tom? Let's stop a crime now, huh? Woo. I've yes. never been a fan of the Bongo and McGillicuddy show, but their new mobile game rules. Um. Get it? Rules because it's a game about yeah. law enforcement. Stop ruining it, Ben. This is the best app I ever played this week. Mm. <gasps> My perp confessed. I just leveled up to Bicycle Cop. Woo! <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. <gasps> oh! I love how you can make your own character. I'm playing as Jackie, a no-nonsense lady of the law who hates crime. And nonsense. Oh, don't mess with Jackie. Wait, I just realized something. If we're loving this game, imagine how Hank, the world's biggest Bongo and McGillicuddy fan, feels. This must be the best day of his life. Yeah, <laughs> this is the worst day of my life! Have you seen this new game? It's an insult, a joke, a slap in the face to our cartoon boys in blue. Really? We all love it. Yeah. It's fun. It's not fun, it's wrong. The ah. shape of the police station is wrong. Hmm. The rookie ah. ranking system is wrong. And McGillicuddy's accent, it's ridiculous and also wrong. Let's stop a crime now, huh? Ah. I guess we didn't notice all that. We just thought anything with Bongo and McGillicuddy in it has got to be good, right? Wrong, 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 wrong! Five stars, this game rocks. Oh, what do they know? Again, five stars. Ugh, why can't they see how much better the show is? Ugh. We did it, McGillicuddy. We made a cake to surprise the chief on the anniversary of his first collar. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Sometimes if you want something done right, you just have to do it yourself. Oh. Bongo, you are so right. I have to do it myself. And I think I know just what it myself is going to do. Attention, everyone. Do not play the Bongo and McGillicuddy mobile game. Why not? I love that app. You're playing a bad game. But don't worry, I have a better one. The only game that stays true to everyone's favorite TV cops. Bongo and McGillicuddy's Tabletop Adventure Game. You see how fun this is? Oh, landed on a give me your badge space. That means I can stop playing by the rules. This one's lame! The phone game is great! No! The game's all wrong! That's the whole point! You don't even care! It's just a game! 
just... Uh, no, it's not! Bongo and McGillicuddy are my friends! Bongo and McGillicuddy are real! <laughs> Stop laughing! I'm serious! Bongo is real! McGillicuddy is real! My friendship with them is real! Real! <laughs> I love this game! Yes! I just arrested a smuggler and then bought his speedboat at a police auction. I've got to catch up to you. I forgot to get a warrant and lost ten badges. Attention! It is I, the super fan! Oh. What? Get it? Super fan! Multiple meetings! The tank! My message is simple. Say goodbye to your precious Bongo and McGillicuddy mobile game, because at 6 o'clock tonight, it's game over. However! What is Hank thinking? I know! Why wouldn't he edit out that last part? We have to stop him. But how? Hmm. We don't know where he is or where he's going, and we don't have any way to find him. That's easy. We just have to... Huh? I don't know. Usually Hank is the one who deals with the crime stuff. In the game, if a case is too tough, you can ask Bongo and McGillicuddy for advice. I mean, if Bongo and McGillicuddy were here, they'd know what to do. Too bad they're not. They never will be. Huh? Hello, citizens. We're a couple of undercover cops, and as we patrolled this precinct, we couldn't help but perceive your predicament. Have we met? You look familiar. No, no, we're out of town, cops. I'm Morgan, and this is Brad. <laughs> so, what do you say we offer you a bit of police assistance and uh, get hunting for your friend? That's exactly what we needed. Come on, everyone. Huh? Let's investigate. Backdrop, camera, script. Mm -hmm. Now, to your civilian, untrained eye, this probably looks like nothing. But to me, it's a clue. Hank must have recorded his video right here. If that's true, then someone nearby might have seen something. How may I help you, officer? We're looking for your neighbor, Hank. Oh, Hank. Yes, of course I saw him. He was flying into town, laughing to himself and talking about needing a lot of electronics. Wait a minute. Electronics? They sell those at the electronics store. Yep, Hank was here, all right. And he bought a suspicious supply of electronics. Ooh, but why is Ronnie's name on that receipt? <gasps> he must have used Ronnie's discount card. That means Ronnie probably knows where he's headed. I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't go back to jail. You've never been to jail, Ronnie. My mom drove past the jail once and it was horrible. Well, if you want to stay out of trouble, you better start talking. Are you working with Hank? He, he told me he'd use my card so I could get the points from his purchase if I showed him how to hook a magnet to a server. What? what? Hank is going to delete the game? I'm going to delete his face. I just wanted points. I've been saving up to get my old toaster for hmm. years. Quick, to the server district. Hands up, Hank! This is where the game's data is stored. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Ah, ah, wait, 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 there he is! Uh, uh, uh. Ha! You're too late! When this countdown ends, my Mega Magnet will erase all these servers! Nice plan, Superfan, but you forgot about one thing. Justice! Uh! Why? Why are you doing this? I have to do this! The only way to stop people from liking the game is to stop the game from existing. Hey. Why can't people like a thing even if you don't like it? Because I know more about my favorite show than any of those other people! <laughs> the world will soon be a better place, all thanks to me, the super fan! You don't sound like a fan right now! You sound like a 
like a villain! Wrong, Ginger, wrong. I'm the hero in this story, and if they were here, Bongo and McGillicuddy would agree. That's not true! And I should know, Hank, oh. because I'm Bongo, <gasps> and he's McGillicuddy. <gasps> Bongo and McGillicuddy! Bongo and McGillicuddy are real! Oh, well, we're real, all right. Real disappointed in our friend, Hank. Disapp what? I was just trying to protect you. This game gets it all wrong, Mom! There's always time for pizza! Hank, that game might have changed a few details about us. Yeah, a few zillion. You know what it didn't change? Our love of fighting crime and righting wrongs. Can't you see that? I... I thought I was helping. Oh, I can't believe I turned evil. But you're not evil. You're Hank. Yes. And you can still fix this. You're right. Server deletion order canceled. Hmm? <gasps> Uh-oh. Without that remote, there's no way to stop the countdown. The servers are going to be destroyed. This whole adventure was for nothing. Not if I can help it. I stopped the crime now, huh? Well, I never thought I'd say this, but it's been nice meeting you, real Bongo <laughs> and real McGillicuddy. Uh, before you return to your home, or uh, your reality, alternate as it may be, I have a few quick questions regarding the scientific implications of your existence alongside ours. Ahem. Given a construct of a uh, uh, material universe... <laughs> Classic uh, Ben. Always being a nerd. Universe. But time for us to go. Hey, uh, anyone seen Hank? Hey, your cartoon friends are leaving! Huh? Oh, uh, hang on, I want to earn bigger tires for my police plane. Okay, I guess he's got more important things to do right now. Ha ha ha! Well. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> whoa, 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 welcome to Motivation Now. Ready to hear some speeches, y'all? Look at all those future leaders hungry for success, and I'm here to teach them how to take a bite of that success. Don't forget to mention our company at least twice per sentence. Oh, don't worry. I talk all about our inspiring tech journey in my even more inspiring speech. Now from Tom and Finn Enterprises, give it up for Tom! <clears throat> Thank you. Today, I'll be talking about something I call the keys to success. Secrets Revealed. Lettuce, potatoes. Cucumber, broccoli, baby potatoes? I really nailed it with this speech, Angela. Nice. Oh, can you get some groceries for me? Uh, <laughs> celery, turnips, well, uh, see, uh, cabbage, zucchini, soy milk, thank you. Goodbye forever. Huh? That's it. That's it. Yes, brilliant. I love it. We love it. We love it. Yes. 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 But they liked it. I mean, maybe the way I listed the food sounded important. Look, Tom, we sign my potato. So how'd your speech go? Hey, you're the guy with the hot new food philosophy. Tell us, should we sell our car to fund our dream of opening a piano store? Well, all I can say is strawberry smoothie garden salad. Of course, thank you. It resonates. You're welcome. Really? Hey, Tom. 
Everyone stand back. The master needs space to list his groceries. Ice pops, chips, pretzel sticks, and there you have it. Now it's up to you to discover what it means. Pretzel sticks, it's so true. Hello, my children. Are you here to buy my new book? It's called Brussels Sprouts, Celery, Turnips. When did you have time to write a... Oh, I see. It's just lists of food. Yeah. Tomology works by me listing food, and then <laughs> you find meaning in the list. I mean, the Tommies? Oh, they love it. What's a Tommy? Tommies are followers of the wisdom of Tom, of course. We abide by the principle of banana, cupcake, rhubarb. Ha! More like baloney, baloney, baloney! Yeah, this is getting out of hand. You're reading grocery lists. Yeah, and it's helping people. Give that back, creep. Huh? Tom, your brainwashed food freaks are out of control. What? Well, there must be some mistake. The Tommies are a peaceful bunch. It is for the greater good! What are you talking about? Bad news. My bad news app says this is happening all over town. They took it all. All I have left are the crumbs in this pie tin. No pretzels today. Those salty Tommies ruined me. Okay, this has gone too far now. It's time to end the inspiration. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Hello, people I inspired. Okay, so it seems like some of you have taken my wisdom in a pretty intense way. Yes, we did. You too, Hank. Look, here's the thing. My wisdom is not real wisdom. It, they, they really are mm -hmm. just lists of food. Huh? Oh, okay. I know, right? Yeah. It's a bummer. Anywho, uh, please go home and also bring back those groceries you stole. Because they're not yours, okay? Thanks. But, you, you, but, but your speech changed our lives. I, I know, but I, I'm gonna say it again. It was just a grocery list. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, Our leader has no, lost no, his no. way. He needs the healing power of food items. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Ah. Oh. We've got to do something. Those food freaks are going bananas. Ah. Ah, da, 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 da. Well, 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 it looks like we have a couple of split peas here. Tommies, I demand you to free me! Crackers, pickle, peanut butter. Look, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I do, so I will speak for you after you are locked away. Forever! Uh-oh. <laughs> yes! Hey, hey. Oh. before those nuts hurt Tom. What are we gonna do? Um, how's it going? Hey, get lost! You're a bad guy now! I didn't think it was gonna get this bad. I just thought Tom's speech was inspiring. You know, with the onion and the carrot. Hank, he was reading my grocery list. Yeah, but it was the way he said it, or, well, maybe I was just hungry. Forget the big speech, okay, Hank? We need to get out of here. Can you help us? I sure can try. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, oh, right! Hey, mm -hmm. you can stop now. Huh? Let's save Tom. Ah! Wait, no, stop. Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm so glad to see you. I thought I'd be left to rot in here. We're not out of this jam yet. <laughs> Those rotten eggs are trying to rescue their town. Stop them. Come on, run faster. <laughs> Sorry, I should have never given that fake speech. Yeah, but if it helps, I found the real speech back in the garage. I don't know if you want it, though. You might be done inspiring people. Maybe I'm not done. Ah! <laughs> hey, leave them alone. Now, you've been inspired by a speech I gave. But what if I told you that I had a better speech? The keys to success, secrets revealed. <laughs> Fine! Let's hear this wisdom! Quickly, we have people to attack! <clears throat> the keys to success by Tom of Tom and Ben Enterprises. Got you, bub. Uh... There are a few keys to success. The first key can unlock any opportunity you so the fifth key is the key of never giving up. If you give up, you'll never achieve your like dreams. I circled here. Key number nine you is are the captain of your own ship, wherever that ship may sail. Thank you. <gasps> That's it? This is making me question everything we're doing. That was a bad step. I could have let his bleeding go. Wait, wait, wait! We don't need Tom! <laughs> Why did we follow this guy? I will be your new leader! Come on, everyone, let's go home. Ah, uh, pesto, sausage, orange juice! <laughs> wow, I guess they didn't like my speech. You guys liked my speech, right? Um, <clears throat> Oh, come on, that speech could start a whole new movement. I mean, you heard the last key about the ship, right? Uh, I mean, you got right. the key! To the ship because yes, yes, you're the captain. The and the look, ship. it doesn't have to be a ship with a sail. It could be a rocket ship if you want. Wow! Yay! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve, Jeremy. Right back at you. Have a soupy cane. Oh, uh, I'll stick with gingerbread. <laughs> Besides, we're in a hurry to tell Santa what we want for Christmas. Come yeah. I'm sure you'll get what you want. You deserve it more than anyone. Woo! I see Santa's throne. <laughs> get ready to hear some ho ho. Oh, oh no! <laughs> He's already gone off to get ready for his big night. Come back, Santa. We have presents to discuss. <laughs> oh. Phone. It must have fallen out of his pocket when he was sitting. Oh, oh, oh. Ginger, put that phone down. Santa might have secret gift information on it. It would be wrong of us to look. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. totally. But maybe one quick peek wouldn't hurt. Yeah, if anything, it might help. Right? Uh, I don't know. I... Come on, just do it. Come on, let's open it really fast. Ooh. <gasps> It's the naughty and nice list with real-time updates on everyone's gifts. Nice tech there, Santa. Ooh. Let's find us on this thing. Then we can be sure we're all getting nothing? We're on the naughty list? I'm nice! 
I don't like this. We shouldn't have this information. We can't panic. Santa's phone is probably just broken. Right, Ben? I don't know. Let me see if I can access the merry mainframe. Oh, dear. It seems Santa has video evidence of all our bad behavior. But we don't do bad behavior. I, this must be made up. Uh-oh. What is all this? Our most poorly behaved moments. All together in one awful lump. We have to do something. But what? We can't change the videos on Santa's phone. Hmm. Wait, can we change the videos on Santa's phone? Oh. Well... Oh, boy. I can't believe we're going to change the videos on Santa's phone. But that's only because they're giving Santa the wrong idea about us. Everybody believes videos. So we'll fix our videos so they show us being nice. Are you sure this isn't breaking some Christmas rule? Well, we're helping Santa make a more informed decision. Let's start with the time I was a supervillain. <laughs> Vanishing villains! Where did Ben go? I'm right here. I stopped time so I could change into this bad guy costume. <laughs> You all distract me from my work! Now with the free audio adjustments. How dare! We are playing a fun game together! <laughs> Get the time slower! Woo -hoo -hoo. Ah! Okay, Ginger, your turn. <laughs> nice one! That's one game point! I would like to play this game too! Boo boo boo! This is great! <laughs> hey, everything's fine! I feel dirty. I just lied to Santa. I know, but Hank, think about how sad we'll all be if we don't get presents in a few hours. Hey! Isn't it a nice thing to try to prevent that sadness? I, 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 I don't know. I'm so confused. Here's some more badness. The time Angela thought she was a zapper and wanted to zap everyone into cues. <laughs> Let's nice it up. You belong in the real world. You have to remember. I... Wait, I do remember something. You do? I remember... I remember that I love giving ice cream to all my friends. Have some ice cream, Tom! Thank you, but I have already had dessert. Yay! <gasps> 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 Oh, that's tricky. It might require extra fixing to make it clear we're the good guys. Oh. Lucky I'm a genius! No, 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 no! Hank, you've been pranked by the mad pranker! And certainly not Ginger! <laughs> 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 it's even better than I hoped it would be! <laughs> wow. Wow. Hank, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, just nothing? Oh. Huh. I mean, I'm, I'm writing a Christmas carol. <laughs> what is this? This is a letter to Santa telling him what we're doing. No, oh. you. What you're doing is extra naughty. Don't you get it? Extra naughty. Whoa. <laughs> No. Listen, Hank, you're a part of this whether you like it or not. Now we're gonna fix one of your bad deeds. Remember when you turned into a bad businessman? I bet that cost you a ton of toys. We are doing the right thing, making ourselves look nice. Because we are. <laughs> Hank, enough is enough. You're coming home. <sighs> All right, Tom. But first, could you take three steps to the right? I'll take three steps, don't have them. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice joke, Hank. We're always playing drop the cage with each other. That's right. If Santa were watching this, he'd be like, this is fine. Don't you agree, Hank? Me? Uh, when I... Hey! <laughs> Don't believe the video, Santa! None of it is true! They're lying to you! Hank, no! We trusted you! Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 
Looks like there really won't be any gifts for us this year. Dum, 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 dum. Hello, friends! Happy Santa morning! Or, ooh, maybe not so happy. <sighs> What's going on? We're all on Santa's naughty list. And I think we deserve to be. Except for Hank. Huh? He's the only good apple in this whole rotten barrel. Nope, I'm on the list too. Probably because I don't support my pals. Oh, oh Hank. Hank. Take it from somebody who's been on the naughty list. Let me tell you, you can't dwell on past mistakes. If you want things to get better, you have to just start acting better and trust that the presents will follow. <sighs> you, you think? I guess we could try to be better people and say we're sorry for what we did. Sorry, sorry Santa. Santa. From now on, I'll be so nice, it'll make you sick. And, and then I'll get quadruple presents. We'll all be nice. And I know one nice thing we can do right now. Hank, would you like to help me do the honors? Oh. We're sorry, Santa. <laughs> what just happened? Did our video <laughs> tricking work after all? Ho, ho. Huh? No. <gasps> you were all on the naughty list because you were digging around on my phone. That's an invasion of privacy. Huh. I've got some pretty embarrassing selfies on this thing. But now that you've returned my phone, all is forgiven. Really? What about all those videos you had of us being bad? Ben, you don't have to be perfect to get presents. Everybody makes mistakes. But it is important to say sorry. So, Santa, since you're here, can we still get this year's presents? Nope, it's too late for that. Ho, 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 just kidding. That's a little bit of holiday humor. <laughs> Wow, a true Christmas miracle. You know who deserves these presents more than us. Thanks, Santa. Wow. Thanks, Santa. And now, taking the lead in the Hot Air to Care charity balloon race from Tom and Ben Enterprises, it's Tom. such a passion for ballooning in town. The competition is tough, but my balloon improvements <laughs> will ensure that Tom can float his way to victory. How's it going up there? Easy breezy. These other drifters can eat my charitable dust. Especially you, Roy. Hello, fellow aviator. <laughs> hey, Ginger. Having fun here in the junior ballooner race? I am not. Put it does not make it a balloon race. You gotta get back huh? on the course. Remember, when we race safely, everyone wins. No, that means everyone loses, too! <gasps> Tom, huh? is everything okay? I'm getting some weird readouts here. Ah, uh, nothing, it's just some wind. I mean, it's nothing a soon-to-be winner like myself can't do. Oh. You're off course! Quick, adjust your aerial balloon stabilizer! Uh, what? Uh, I, I, I don't see anything like that. Ben, did you forget to install it? I would never be so careless. Is Tom gonna be okay? Don't worry. An ace pilot doesn't need fancy tech stuff to balloon. Ah! 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 Danger! T 
take my hand. Roy, no thanks. I've got this under control. Oh, that doesn't look under control to me. Oh, no. If I had another minute, I could have figured that out. Oh, what now? I can't get the hook out. Your balloon is dragging us down. It's possible that was a soft landing, right? I don't know. The crash must have busted Tom's radar, so I can't track his location. It says he's in four different countries at once. He must have hit hard to break up into all those pieces. <gasps> I mean, it's probably just a computer mess up. I'm sure he's just fine. Tom? Balloon stabilizer is missing. Tom? Balloon. Can you hear Balloon. me? But Roy. No! Oh. Ah! I'm alive? I'm alive! Hmm. Oh, we both are. Cool. That's the spirit, buddy. But we're not out of the woods yet. We got pretty off course. Could be a while before anyone finds us. We're just gonna have to walk back to town. Great idea. Wait, do you even know where we are? Don't worry, I can handle this. I used to rescue pilots who crashed on desert islands. Oh, man. Could have been me. Roy saved my life. Take my hand. Hey, uh, listen, before we go, there's something that I should say. What's that, Tom? I know things with us aren't great, but. I, I can't hear you. You saved my life, okay? I mean, don't make a big deal out of it, but, you know. Thanks. Oh, of course, of course, Tom. You do the same for me, right? Um... And don't worry, I'm not gonna make a big speech or anything at the rescue celebration. Wait, what celebration? Oh, the one they're gonna throw when people find out about this. They're gonna wanna honor me. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, come on! Watch out for the branch, buddy. Ow! Oof! See that guy? You owe your life to him. Every time you breathe, you should think of Roy. I renamed our company Tom and Ben Enterprises, courtesy of Roy. Since Roy saved you, he also saved our relationship. Now, whenever I look at you, I think of Roy. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Two balloons in the hot air to care race have crashed. But no survivors found yet. Some people wonder if balloons should stick to being party clown supply. I can't connect to Tom's tracker. We need to go higher up to have any chance of getting a signal. But this is the tallest tree. What could be higher than that? Huh. Mmm, num num. It's not stealing if it's an emergency. Come on! Go oh, up! Adventure. Tom is lost out there in the wilderness. Then you need me. I can track him with my scout skills. There you are. Did you get lost again, little guy? Ooh. Don't worry, I'll help you steer your way back. Ow. Hang on, Tom. We're coming. Woohoo! Requesting backup. We got a grand theft balloon. Oh. oh, someone's hungry. I'll go find berries that are safe to eat. I'd hate for you to starve right after I saved your life. Because there wouldn't be much of a celebration then, would there? Oh. Ben. Tom, you're alive! Describe your location. We got a signal. We can bring you home. Really? You can? That's... Actually, I don't think I want to go home right now. What? 
Did you hurt the part of your brain that thinks? No, it's Roy. He saved me so he could take credit for saving me and humiliate me. What are you talking about? I can't owe my life to Roy. He's the worst. What do I do? I don't think there's much you can do. Unless you saved Roy's life, uh, that it even things out, but... Roy doesn't need saving, so... That's genius! I'm gonna save Roy's life! I just need to put his life in danger first. Tom, stop! You're being ridiculous! Oh, I'm losing you! Tom! Oh, later! Tom, go! Call him back! The signal went out! Hurry, you lunatics! Let's get out of here! Looks like it's ginger time, baby. Watch out! A big rolling log! <laughs> uh, that log's not rolling, but it is big. Good find, Tom. Uh... Killer bees, run! Yeah, we'll be okay. There's an acorn conveniently plugging the hive. Uh, I made you a hat so you don't get a sunburn. Already got a hat, buddy. Hey, I saw a snake nest ahead on the main path. This way looks safer. Well, I don't know. It looks unstable. It's just, I really want to avoid those snakes. Hmm. Uh, okay, Tom, okay. <laughs> oh, look out, it's a freaky accident. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. I'm coming, Roy. Your life needs saving. And I'm here to save that life! Take my hand! I'll carry you up! No, I, I'm rescuing you! I'll swing over and grab you. Stay where you are! I don't need grabbing, I'm fine! I really feel like I'm in the best position to do the saving. I really respectfully disagree. Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh! Your rope is fraying somehow! Good thing Rescue Roy is here! <laughs> Watch out! It's an avalanche! Better hop over to Hero Tom! You are not saving me! Oh, you wish I wasn't, buddy! Huh? This is a balloon adventure! Oh, it is good to see you! How did you find us? I was watching your video call and recognized the place you're in from a Scout Boys hike! You led the hike! You should have remembered! Oh, that's a little embarrassing. No, that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> it's getting late and there are still no signs of our lost balloners. Also lost? Our hope. <laughs> Attention! I rescued these bozos even though I'm just a kid! Wait, what's this? It's a miracle! Ginger, 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 Way to go, Ginger. But how'd you get away from the junior race? I am so glad you're alive. We tried to save you, but got arrested. But it worked out in the end. I still wonder what caused that crash, though. Isn't it obvious? Roy sabotaged our balloon so he could save me. Wow, neat theory, Tom. Kind of like my theory that you untied the rope bridge so you could save me. The important thing is I saved you both. <laughs> This season on Brave Ricks. Brave Ricks. Woo wow. In a quest for reality show glory, eight racers will face their fears. And to get to the end, they'll have to take on the most terrifying ride ever built, the Terror Raider. That show looks intense. Is Becca really doing it? I guess she has a lot of natural confidence. Look, there she is. What up, world? I'm Becca, and the only thing I'm worried about is how embarrassed my competitors will be when I grind them into sand. Wow! Ah! <laughs> Wait, what is she wearing? That hair looks familiar. Isn't that the wig Angela borrowed that turned her into a total jerk? <gasps> oh, no. 
Becca's natural confidence isn't natural at all. It's coming from that bad news wig! What did you do today? So much. And uh, while you were doing that, were you wearing this wig? Chill out. I was going to my audition and feeling nervous or whatever. <laughs> huh? I found it in my room. I put it on and I felt confident. Like nothing could stop me. Plus, it looks cool. NBD, no big deal. <laughs> it is a big deal. This wig used to be mine, and it made me feel great too. But then it made me a total jerk. Uh -oh. Angela's gone. And I tell you what I want. <laughs> what did she become? Becca, <gasps> this wig changes you. It is a good thing I'm looking out for you. Ugh. Today on Brave Race, you've heard of a zip line and you've heard of lava. But what happens when those two things collide? Z -z -z -zip -fire. Uh, Becca, are you sure watching all these old Brave Race episodes won't freak you out? I need to know what I might have to do. Besides, I can handle it. After all, I I've got natural confidence. Yeah, you do. <sighs> okay, I'm going to bed. Don't forget to be awesome tomorrow. You know it. Boom. <laughs> the great racers have to turn the plane to the what? finish line. But this plane only goes upside down. The racers have to tickle a <laughs> shark. Do a power up breakfast for your big race today, and <gasps> Becca? <gasps> she took the wig? Oh, I knew I should have put that thing in the garbage disposal. We can't let Becca wig out on TV. We have to do something. I said I wanted a pizza. I'm sorry, I'm the makeup girl. Don't talk back to the talent. Now get me what I want! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like mom is here. Becca, take off that wig! The extra confidence isn't worth it. Becca, if you do the race like this, you will be forever labeled a reality show villain. <laughs> the world will never forgive you. I don't care what the world thinks. Most of the world is lame anyway. <laughs> the brave race starts here. You'll walk this way from this very tall building to that very tall building. Try not to fall, everyone. But watch out, I greased your wires. So mean, but allowed by our insane rules. Okay, racers, get brave. by just being yourself. The real you can do this, Becca. And I know because I'm doing it. And I'm not even on the show. I had to sneak past security to get here. Wow, Angela, I guess you really don't need the wig to be confident. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So imagine how confident you would be with Whoa. the wig! Wait, what? Join us. Our confidence would be unmatched. We'd be a great team! What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,
It seems the wig is some sort of parasitic, confidence-seeking organism. I thought this might be the case. You did? Well, I like to keep an open mind about neat little scientific possibilities. Guys, what do we do about Becca? <laughs> she can't hurt anybody while she's stuck in that tower. <laughs> oh, there it goes! Oh! oh no! Come on, Angela, put on the wig! Everybody's doing it. Hank, that's not you talking! It's the wig! Run! Into the race course! Hello? Can someone get me down? You little brat! Beat it, bad Hank! Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Here comes Ginger, baby! Go! <laughs> Put on the wig, Angela! It's the logical thing to do! The Terrorator lives up to its name. Should we go around it? We can't run from this wig forever. It's time to give it what it wants. But, but... Trust me, and hand me your phone. wanted me to give this to you. Hi, Angie. I guess you won. You took over my brain and you're feeling super confident now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, if all you want is confidence, then you might as well use it. So, let's see how confident you are after you ride the Terrorator 20 times in a row. What, what? me for this. What is Angela doing? She's teaching a wig that confidence isn't everything. She's ten rides in. Angela, you beat that wig at its own game. Thanks for looking out for me, Ange. Sorry I didn't listen to you. Hey, listen, everyone gets nervous, but remember, you can do anything. You just have to believe it. No, hey, you're not an official Brave Race contestant. Oh, oh right, this was for TV. Hey, we never meant to mess up the show, it's just- Mess up? Are you kidding? That girl was not only the only one to finish the Brave Race course, she finished it in record time. Whoa! Woo! Yeah! Hooray! Yeah. 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 Way to go! Did Angela win anything cool? Yes. The Brave Race winner gets unlimited rides on the Terrorator. And so do all her friends. All her what now? Oh, I, I wait! No, no, I'm good. Not again. No, thank you. No, no thanks. I don't think I'm a... Oh! Buffet wasn't kidding when they said it was all you could eat. I couldn't have another bite. Uh, speak for yourself. There's always room for a fortune cookie. 
Your brain will open new doors. Ah, yeah. I love it when my brain does that. Embarrassment is in your future. What? Hey, trade forces with me, quick! Oh, are you kidding? I got you will have good luck for a week. Jimmy. No way am I trading that. What is it, Angela? It says, um, your true love will break your heart. <gasps> Pull another one. You can call that a practice cookie. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Take two. Um, under the light of the full moon, your heart will be broken. <gasps> uh, that's another practice cookie. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Here. Um, beware the number 12. Hey, that one's not so bad. Because your heart will get broken. Twelve as you stare at the beach? Angela, these silly fortune cookies are just for fun. I mean, it's not like they ever come true. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Ginger just got souped. That's not only hot and sour, it's also an embarrassment. <gasps> just like the Miss Fortune Cookie said. Mom, do you know what this means? Our relationship is doomed. <gasps> and they're all bad news for our love. I know you're freaked out about the fortunes, but even if they're true, think about what they say. Um, that you're gonna break my heart by a beach under the moon at 12? Exactly, and we're nowhere near a beach, and we're not under the moon. So, if we just stay here until 12... The fortune can't come true! Take that, fate! Shh. Oh. Aw, thanks! Romantic candy makes this night even better. Chad, it's so romantic being on the beach under the light of the moon. <gasps> oh, no. Tom, we have to get out of here! Shh, shh. Oh. 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 No. Oh. no, come on! Twelve dollars! Ah. Twelve dollars! That's twelve for twelve for... Oh. I got sand. First oh. sand. What sand? Next stop, the beach. Stop the bus! <laughs> um, you might want to check with the landlord before you redecorate the garage. We're not redecorating, we're hiding! Cosmic Cookie Forces have bought us a one-way ticket to Heartbreak Town. Might I suggest perhaps ignoring the meaningless slips of paper that you got out of some novelty cookie? Ow! Ben? I wasn't sure I believed either. But then I saw the beach movie. And the twelve dollar fruit. Twelve dollars. Explain the fruit! How do you explain the fruit, Ben? Well, um... You know what? You guys just need to stand up to this curse, dead in its cursy little face, and say, Hey, curse, this couple is unbreakable. Hank, that's actually not a bad idea. If we can't run from the heartbreak, maybe we can fight it. Yeah, we just have to make sure there's nothing that can split us up. If we solve every one of our relationship problems, we'll be breakup proof. Okay, this is a safe place to work out your issues. I'm not a licensed therapist, but I did watch the entire series of Relationship Rescue. Let's do this. <sighs> so, Tom, what bothers you about me? Well, I don't know. Nothing, really. I, you're a great girlfriend. Stop that! If you're gonna save our relationship, you need to tell me what you hate about it. Uh, well, uh, hmm. Okay, if you can't go first, I will. You eat with your mouth open, and it's gross. You look at me during comedy movies to make sure I'm laughing. You tell my stories at parties. Angela, do you even like me? It's just things we could potentially fight about. I'm getting everything off my chest so we can stay together. Hmm. Hey, I feel like I'm under attack here. Axe. Like a baby when he gets criticized. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't be doing this right now. Because we are going so crazy, we're about to make the curse come true. I need some time for myself. Tom, wait! <laughs> Stay tuned, listeners. We're 
I'm still not really a curse guy, but I have to admit that series of events was almost statistically impossible, and I'm awaiting a scientific explanation. <sighs> hey, I saw your crying selfie on Fastapic. <laughs> kind of an overshare, but also, is everything okay? Oh, Tom won't talk to me. I think my fortune is coming true. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. You're up against the universe. I guess. I just wish I was strong enough to beat fate. Oh! Ow! Ah! What gives? I thought I had good luck for a week. Wait, this isn't my lucky fortune. This is Ginger's misfortune. Ginger, did you switch fortunes with me? <laughs> I'm going to the arcade while my good luck lasts. Wait a minute. Maybe I can't beat fate, but I can cheat fate. Becca, come with me. This might get rough. Okay, what's the plan? I put all my bad fortunes in this curse cookie. If we can trade this with another couple, then the curse might get passed to them. Whoa, Angela, that's really dark. Are you sure you want to do that? I don't have a choice. Here is Cynthia. Huh? Ever since we locked eyes at that demolition derby, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh. Will you marry me? Oh, Gary. Of course I will. Whoa. Oh, he just proposed to her. We can't curse this couple. Don't worry. There's loads of other lovebirds in this restaurant. We'll find someone. Happy anniversary, darling. I can't believe I've been able to spend 30 wonderful years with my soulmate. Thanks for asking me to prom, Alvin. I didn't think I was ever gonna find a date after my braces got stuck to my gym shorts. Hey, what's in your hand? Oh, uh, nothing. Definitely not a curse cookie. <laughs> hey, these ladies are trying to curse us. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. That was a disaster. I'm out of ideas. Who's going to save our relationship now? <gasps> Tom, I didn't think I'd see you here. Were you going to use a curse cookie too? What? No, I, I've been thinking. If this is our last night together, I want to spend it together. Oh, okay. This seems like a not Becca situation. I'll just go. Well, I just want to say it's been an honor being your boyfriend. And also, I was the one who broke your favorite coffee mug a few weeks ago. Oh, Tom, I already knew that was you. So, how do we do this? Is it just like ripping off a Band-Aid, or...? Oh, no. Did I break you with my sad hug? Oh, no, it was nothing. You just broke my heart-shaped lollipop. Wait a minute. The Full Moon Cafe? <laughs> Tom, do you realize what just happened? You broke my heart. Under the light of the full moon at 12. And we're looking at a beach. <gasps> so does this mean? The fortune came true. Just not the way we thought it would. Our relationship is saved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the luckiest boy in the world. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I 
can't believe we actually thought a cookie could come between us. I know, but today was still creepy. Fortune should be taken seriously. Maybe, except my fortune never came true. My brain hasn't opened any new doors for me lately. Oh, ow! Oh. Oh. And that is how they made candles in the Middle uh. Ages. This is so boring. Why can't we learn about cool stuff like knights and ogres and dragons? Hey, I like candles. They're the second best part of birthday wishes. <laughs> Come, kids. There's plenty more educational things to see. <gasps> Finally, something good! A sword! Oh, that's the sword of virtue. No one has ever been able to pull it from that stump. Legend has it that whoever does will become the knight protector of this realm. But that's not part of this tour. Next up, how nails were made. <laughs> Come on, we've got nails to see. And you're not going to get the sword out. It's stuck forever. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was too busy becoming knight That's enough, Ginger. Back away, Nail. Ah. I belong to Sir Ginger, the Knight Protector. What the? My magic sword just got more magic. Wow, well, this is absurd. Let me check that thing for speakers. Back away, Nail. Ginger. No. Ow! This might actually be real. The Internet Legend Database says the Sword of Virtue was enchanted with speech to teach its owner the way of knights. Sir Database speaks the truth. What now, brave Sir Ginger? Ready to run? I'm pretty sure I know how this works. Huh? <laughs> Sir Ginger, please! I simply want to teach you! Please, Sir Ginger, listen! Kid, this is a crime scene here, okay? Someone stole a statue right out of the park, and we're looking for clues. Your night protector will help, peasant! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, won't you please just stop? Excited about the laser show? Yeah, this is gonna be great! <laughs> I've grown weary from a long day of heroics, and I demand a payment of candy! Candy, I say! Knights don't get paid in candy. I mean, didn't your sword tell you that? No. Sir Ginger has not given me a chance to teach him. He's been too busy yelling and swinging me around. What, yet, swordy? I know how to hero. I don't need to learn anything. But Ginger... Duck, 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 duck. Please raise your hand if you're a knight. Oh, I thought so. No! Candy! Whoa, 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 Ginger, stop! Ah! Huh? Huh? What happened in here? Hank! Hank! Your friend isn't here right now. He's been taken by me. <laughs> What's going on? I'm scared! I have been awakened from my slumber because someone is claiming to be Night Protector! Would that be you, Ginger the Weak? Yeah. More like Ginger the Gonna Kick Your Butt! Give me back my pal! Or what? You could never defeat me. If you want to rescue your friend, meet me in the clearing in the woods at sundown. But you'd better be ready! That wizard doesn't know who he's messing with. Right, Ginger? Ginger? Uh, I don't know how to fight a dark wizard. I thought being a night protector would be fun, not scary. 
What am I going to do? Well, I hate to be Captain Magic, but the sword did mention it could train you to be a better knight. Can you really do it, Sorty? Of course, Sachinja. You simply must follow the knight's path. The first step is no time to yield. So now's the time to make your shield. Now we're talking. I want one with spikes and a laser. But if you want to win the day, you must do it in the right way. What's that mean? I think I might know. <laughs> Medieval blacksmiths were master technicians. Observe their process. Ah! That looks like a dinner plate. For a first try, it's not bad, huh? Well, okay. Sorty, I made a shield. What do I do with it? That shield will help you save the day as you learn to knight the knightly way. But to strike fear into a foe's chest, you must create your knightly crest. What's that? A cool helmet? Oh, oh I know this. A knight's crest was a picture representing who they are. What? I went through a castle face. Ginger, ask yourself, who are you? <laughs> okay, this is everything that's important to me right now. Not sure how it's gonna help me fight a wizard. <laughs> the third step is no small trick. To learn the craft of wax and wick. The craft of wax and wick. Mmm, wax and wick. <gasps> it sounds like you're supposed to make a can. Now slowly pull the candle by the wick from its mold and... Voila! Not bad. Huh. But what does that have to do with being a knight? Guys, it's almost sundown. We're running out of time to save Hank. This makes no sense. How will a candle, a picture, and a junky shield help me fight a wizard? Win your fight. You must be clever. Use the things you've learned together. Uh, not helpful, Sorty. Ginger, you don't have to do this alone. We can help you. I am the Knight Protector. This is my fight. It always has been, ever since earlier today when I got this sword. I have to trust my path. <laughs> Where'd you get a staff like that? Did you have to make it? Is there a guy who sells staffs? Hmm? Silence! I sense someone nearby. <laughs> well, well, well. Do you think you have what it takes to fight me? You bet! You're looking at someone who just did the knight's path. <laughs> you young fool. I could banish you to the dark realms with a single spell. No, you can't! Because I can use the things I've learned together. Candle, crest, junky shield. Okay, Sorty. What now, Sorty? <laughs> Ginger, what happened? I lost. My stupid sword gave stupid advice. Using the things I learned together didn't do anything. I'll never understand being a knight. Hmm. Wait, maybe that's not what together actually meant. <laughs> <laughs> I, Tom the Squire, hereby announce the arrival of Sir Ginger the Brave! Ah, you fool! Yes! <laughs> Lady Angela, the candle maker! Friends to fight for you? What kind of knight are you? Real knights depended on others to succeed. Blacksmiths, squires, and candle makers all help too. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Now, eat sword name! Congratulations on completing this interactive lesson on medieval knights. Sorty, what are you 
sing. Hey, you're the museum guy. I am. We got a lot of feedback that our normal tours are, well, very boring. So this quest is a new program we're doing. But the sword talked. Yes, it has little speakers in it. What? But how did you know that? Sorry for fooling you, Ginger, but they said if we played along, they'd give us tickets to the museum laser show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Are you saying the Knight's Path stuff wasn't training me to be a wizard fighter? Oh, no. It was learning. You tricked me! That's true, but Ginger, look what you did. You were a brave knight and you saved your friend. <laughs> and I bet you had some fun, too. Mm, okay. But my next adventure better be real! Well, I'm glad you liked it. I I'm gonna have to ask you to clear out. Another kid is coming and we can't spoil the surprise. This garage garden is great. Uh, Your yard looks way better than it did with the broken down taxi in it. Yeah, I'm still not sure how that taxi disappeared, but I'm glad we replaced it with something that really makes us proud. Huh? Hey, neighbor. Looks like we're both sprucing up our yards, huh? Whoa, what is that? This? Oh, it's just a rare and exotic plant I'm gonna put in my garden. It's still officially undiscovered. Roy, that is really cool. Huh? Looks like me and you are plant pals. <laughs> yes, we are, plant pals. See you around, plant pal. Not if I see you first. Did you just not get mad at Roy, even though he was being really Royish? I've been busy lately with a bunch of new hobbies, so I haven't really had time for Roy. Well, good for you. You know, that whole Tom Roy rivalry thing was going nowhere. Plus, sometimes it made you seem like a jerk. Ooh, I'm glad that's over. No, Hank, don't touch that! Why? This is awkward. This is outrageous. Roy's pictures, old report cards, texts with Billy, emails with Billy. Wait, who's Billy? <laughs> well, okay. Billy is me. What? No! He's a fake online identity that I created so that I could talk to Roy and get clues about what he is up to. Roy loves taking credit for helping people, right? So I made up someone who needed a lot of help. I reached out to Roy and... Hey, Billy. Bingo, bango. You lying about who you were on the internet? You're gonna delete this entire Billy profile right now. Now. What if people found out you did this? You'd be called a lunatic and a creep. And so would we for being your friend. Come on, Tom! Do it! Oh, but come on, I... <sighs> Fine. Forget my cool plan. I'll wipe Billy off the internet. There. Happy now? It's a start. Seriously? I have to do punishment dishes? God, you guys do not get me. Keep scrubbing, Billy. <sighs> Nip that in the bud. Nice to deal with something before it spirals out of control. Oh, I need help. Something terrible happened and I don't know what to do. My buddy, Billy, is missing. <gasps> so, boy, who is this Billy guy? Billy and I were friends on the internet. He thought of me as his mentor. He was so inspired by me that he was starting to follow his own dream <laughs> to become an astronaut. Billy lived in a cave, but he had so much potential. Billy lived in a cave? I think that's a really interesting thing about his character. Well, Roy, maybe Billy just got rid of his computer. No, you just don't understand. Billy wouldn't just vanish like this. He... Let me try to explain. Oh, Billy, my 
my buddy You came to me in your time of need And though I never ever met you before I helped you indeed And even though you live far off We became the closest bros The things I taught you Stuck with you like sweaty clothes Am I some sort of That was weirdly beautiful. Yeah, I know. But you can't just sit around worrying about some random person on the internet. But, but Billy was... Wait, Tom. You're right. I am? I mean, I am. <laughs> So, are we done here? I can't just sit around worrying about Billy. I have to find Billy. Uh, that's not what I meant. I know hundreds of people. I'll contact them all. I'll call in every favor I can. I'll start the biggest manhunt in the world. We interrupt our regularly scheduled news to bring you this special announcement from Roy. Uh... Thanks, Neil. You can go. I want to talk to all of you about a man named Billy, a missing man who we need to find. I can't believe it. Huh? We're looking for Billy. Have Let you seen Billy? Billy? Huh? Billy! 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 Oh, no. Billy, Billy, come back! Billy, Billy, come back! Please, please! Uh, not too many people are going to see this music video, right? Are you kidding? Lots of people will. I'm sending it to my influencer friends now, and... Yup, it's gone viral. Oh, great. Come back, Billy! Billy! Join the cause, whatever you can do. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, no, we're looking for him everywhere. I printed out some Billy posters to put on telephone poles in town. I wonder if Billy was hiking near his cave and fell in a hole. Hank, Billy isn't real, remember? Oh, yeah. This is out of control. I need to stop Roy. <laughs> Tom, great news. This little gizmo is going to solve our big mystery. And it's all thanks to you. Yeah, I sure inspired you to do all this. Uh, what, what is this thing? It's a person tracker, you goofball. It locates the source of any online message. All we need to do is put Billy's last messages into this thing, and it will tell us where he was when he sent them. Oh, hmm. It's got a make on it. Oh, boy. We're coming, Billy! Billy, Billy, come back! This is awful. You wrote all those Billy messages in our garage, didn't you? They won't stop looking for Billy until they find me. Oh, they're like me when I watched The Guy Who Disappeared, part one. It ended on a huge cliffhanger, and I freaked out until I watched The Guy Who Disappeared, part two, and learned where the guy was. That's it. If we want people to stop looking for Billy, we have to show them how his story ends. Come on, follow me. Huh? We're getting close to Billy's last known location. Hey, that's weird. Billy always told me he lived really far away. <gasps> Billy? <gasps> Billy? Is that you? It sure is. Billy! Billy! Oh. Look, Roy, I'm an astronaut now. Wow! I went to space! Oh. I'm sorry about my sudden unexplained disappearance, but the last time we chatted, I was inspired to start following my dream right away. 
And your dream was to be an astronaut. Oh, Billy, you did it. I was so confident because of what you taught me. And I inspired you to do it. They put me on a secret mission to be the first guy on Mars. But I had to tell the guy who made it all possible. You! you, you. Yeah, me. Billy, that's great. When will you be coming home? But now I think it's time you and I finished our rivalry. Once and for all. <laughs> what? Which of you wants to be the test subject for my duplicator? It can duplicate things. <gasps> this could be dangerous, but I say it's worth it to be a science pioneer. <laughs> I'll do it. Ah. Huh? Oh, uh, really? Are you sure? Uh, yes, this is exactly what I need. My week is so busy. I can't get everything done as just one, Angela. I have to post a video for my fans about my top 10 smoothie recipes, practice my new headspin dance for this huge concert, and I have to do all the chores in my apartment because Becca did them last week! Uh, plus, you promised Ginger you'd go to his soccer playoffs to cheer him on. Oh, I forgot about that! Ben, I need there to be more of me. Uh, all right, hop in! Yes! See you soon! Times two! Hey, why is my soccer ball not near my foot anymore? Huh? Oh no! Ah, Angela, open the door! The ball will confuse the replication sensors! Ah, Angela, get out of there! <laughs> Did it work? The duplicator was supposed to duplicate, not, you know, combine the Kate. You have to fix Angela. I'm sorry. There wasn't supposed to be anything else in the pod. I need time to figure out how to reverse this. What, what am I supposed to do until then? I don't want people seeing me as a doll woman. It's embarrassing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, most of Ginger's friends. Ah, what are you doing? I'm checking to make sure you're all going to the big game tomorrow. Ronnie is taking pictures for the team website. Come on, you guys, everybody on the picture. Ah, <laughs> uh, rabbit ears. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that a new ball? Let me show you my new sweet move. Did 
Joe. Well, we'll be there. In the meantime, why not kick this banana outside? But I don't want to kick the banana for practice. <sighs> I'll just go in a closet until Ben fixes his machine. No, you won't. Angela, I'm here for you. And I'm going to help you live a normal, non-soccer ball life. That's sweet, Tom, but how will I do that? I can't even scratch an itch. Then I'll scratch it for you. Trust me, in a little while, it'll be like nothing is wrong. Angela! Angela! Are you sure I look real? You look great. And if anyone notices, they'll just think it's your cool new style. Because singers get cool new styles all the time. Good point, Tom. Let's do this. Ooh, maybe I can still do one of my cool new spin dance moves. Huh? Angela, wait! Are you okay? So many fans have pointy shoes. New plan. You can sing from behind a wall. Right, be all mysterious. I'm sorry, but if I'm a ball, there's no way I'm doing shows. Ah, oh, it's okay. Everything else you have to do will be way easier. Look at you, doing chores like a normal person. You can still make your smoothie recipe video. All your fans need is your voice. Huh? Huh? Tom! Huh? I'm in here! Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> no transformation can stop you from enjoying a simple part. Oh no! I'll, I'll, I'll get you! I'll get you! Okay, I have calibrated the machine to undo its mistake, which is its fault, it did it. Let's see if it works. And? Uh... This is bad. Fixing you seems to be outside of the power of this machine. But why? Well, figure it out, Ben. I can't do anything when I'm like this. I'm not even me anymore. I'm just a dumb ball. Uh, ah! What was that? I feared this might happen. Your body is settling into its soccer ball shape. If this isn't reversed, the change could become permanent. Ah! Oh, great. I'll be a dumb ball forever. Ah! Ah, make it stop, Ben. Wait, that's it. There's nothing that I can do. The changes are triggered by Angela's attitude. When she feels like she's just a ball, just a ball is all she'll be! You mean like in that fairy tale movie where the princess has to learn to be herself or she'll be stuck as a pumpkin? No, Hank, it's, you just don't get it. But Angela, if you don't start feeling like yourself again soon, uh. I fear you'll be a ball. <laughs> Hop. Shh. Forever. Huh. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Hank. I'm trying to find a way to help Angela feel like she can brush her teeth on her own. Tom, I admire your dedication to dental hygiene and to helping Angela. She is one lucky sporting good. Oh, I feel like I can't do anything right. I don't know how to help her. It's exhausting. Angela is the best, but if she stays a soccer ball forever, I don't know if I'll be able to deal with it. Tom, I never meant to be a burden on you. Hi guys, I'm Angela. Seems like I need some new friends. You don't have to say anything. You all understand. Welcome to the Junior Global Soccer Playoff! It's like a map. La 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 la. Guys, Angela's gone. I can't find her anywhere. Oh, I hope she didn't roll into the trash. Stop saying things that are going to make me panic and help me look. Angela? Angela! Angela. Come on! We have to hurry if we want to watch the soccer playoffs 
The soccer playoffs. That must be where Angela went. This sticks. The ankle breakers are kicking our butts. I almost kicked the ball once, but it was toward the wrong goal. Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you seen Angela? <gasps> That's her. How can you tell? I just know. No, Tom. Bye. What are you doing? Leave me alone! I don't want to ruin your life! You could never ruin my life! You're the best part of my life! But... I heard what you said about not being able to deal with me! Oh, Angela, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it! Just a soccer ball! Uh, uh, yeah. oh, no! <laughs> Angela! Yes! <laughs> That's right! I'm Angela, and I'm a soccer ball! Well, after a slightly strange game delay, we are back in action, and the momentum is shifting to the Kicker Kids! Yay! Wow! Those Kicker Kids are on a roll! It's almost like the ball's on their side! Was that your new head spin dance move? Yeah! I can actually spin better like this! I want to do a concert and show my moves off! I even have ideas for a new soccer ball song! You sound like you, Angela! I feel like me! And I want to sing! No! Oh. My advice was right! Changing her attitude reversed the soccerizing of Angela's cells. It's like a fairy tale after all. The crowd sits at the edge of their seats, watching as Ginger lines up for the game-winning kick. Aw, oh, come on, Miss B. Why do you hate fun? I have my reasons. Now listen. The school wants you all to take an exam that tests uh. for extraordinary intelligence. Frankly, I find this entire class to be impressively unimpressive. But this is your chance to prove me wrong. Ugh, tests are the worst. Can't we just watch a movie instead? Just take the test, Ginger. Whoa. Ginger, my desk, now. I'm speechless. Never in all my years of teaching have I seen anything like this. Wow, I must have bombed that test good. Oh well, can't win them all. You didn't bomb. You received a perfect score. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but you're a genius. A genius? <gasps> And it turns out I'm a genius. 
you? I have a hard time believing. It's true. I don't get it. I barely even tried when I took that stupid thing. And the answers came to you anyway? Wow, you must really be special. Yeah, even Ben didn't get a perfect score when he took the test in school. <gasps> so now I'm smarter than Ben? Ginger, I am sorry I never saw your potential before, but that ends now. As of now, you are a colleague, and I grant you access to my collection of reference books. <laughs> Ugh, pass! <sighs> Can I take a piece of this cake before I go home and hide forever? Well, we were saving that for our company anniversary. <sighs> but you know what? Chocolate is great brain food. You should have it instead. Wait, you're letting me have free cake just because I'm smart? Uh, can I borrow all your Dino Wrestler video games so that I can, you know, uh, entertain my busy mind? <laughs> is there anything else we can get you, your braininess? Huh, maybe this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> oh man, there's nowhere to park. Oh, there's plenty of extra room in the gifted lot. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you, Brainiac. We make jumbo donuts for the smart kids. Today's subtraction lesson is too simple for a genius like you. So you can spend the day in the advanced virtual learning room. Whoa! Virtual reality sword fighting? Finally, something I want to learn! Why'd you ask me back here? I have important plans involving a super bounce ball. Fragile stuff? Prepare to embark on a quest for invention, a playground for the mind itself. Huh? I built you your own laboratory. What am I supposed to do with this? Anything. Question, hypothesize, disrupt. Uh, this is boring. I'm going to get back to my Super Bowl. But what's so intellectually stimulating about that? It's a genius thing. You wouldn't get it. So with eight sides, you might say the octagon is twice as fun as the square. But you'd be wrong, because shapes don't have personalities. Oh dear, my lesson is boring the smart kid. I'm very sorry, Ginger. Perhaps you could suggest something more interesting to study today. Seriously? You are Ginger to choose what we learn about? Of course. I'm nowhere near as intelligent as he is. <laughs> Why should I decide what's important to teach? Uh. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't put your tongue on anything. Wow, Ginger! I can't believe you convinced Miss Fantrax to take us on a field trip to the candy factory! This is incredible! <laughs> Here we have our marshmallow tanks. These are full of boiling marshmallow mix, which will later be cooled and molded into tasty treats. Uh, 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 uh. Don't touch anything. Hey, hey, what would happen if one of those things exploded? Every square inch of this burg would be buried in hot, molten, sugary, liquid marshmallow goo. But that could never happen. Code white, code white. Ten minutes until marsh meltdown. Marsh meltdown? Uh, uh, don't panic, kids. Uh, I can stabilize these tanks. I just need to balance the ingredient levels. Yep. No! Oh, this one. I don't know what buttons to press. To figure this out, you'd have to be some sort of genius. Uh, what? Come on, Ben, you idiot. Ben, you shouldn't be so mean to yourself. You have to spend the rest of your life together. This test is impossible. It's no wonder my attempts to connect with Ginger on an intellectual level have failed. 
I'm incapable of comprehending his complex mind. I, I give up. Mm. <laughs> nice smiley face drawing. No, Hank. This is Ginger's test. Pavlov's pants! He was just making a picture with his answers. <laughs> Ginger must have used that make a picture of a smiley face test guessing technique. I used to do that when I was stumped in school. You know what this means. Ginger isn't a genius. He's just a really, really lucky guesser. Exactly. And more importantly, I'm the smartest guy in the room again. All is right in the world. All is not right in the world today, as a marshmallow tank at the candy factory is at risk of exploding. <gasps> Luckily, a young genius who happened to be at the factory is expected to solve this sticky problem. Whew, good thing All Ginger's there. Oh, right. Oh! Uh, I don't want to pressure you, but you are a genius, which means you're the only one who can save our lives. Please hurry up. I can do this. Let's go, Brain. One minute until Marsh meltdown. Hurry! We have to get Ginger out of here before we all turn into spores! Look! There he is! Ginger! 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 Spike. Come on, Ginger! Do something! Yeah! Come on! This should be easy for you! I can't believe it! My friends came to cheer me on! This is the end, everyone! Three. Marsh meltdown. We gotta Five, get out of here, Ginger! Four. Three. Got it. Two. Marsh meltdown averted. Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. The yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ginger, well done! Nice He's a genius! Yeah. Yeah. About that, how did you know what buttons to press, huh? Easy! I stopped thinking, and the answers just came to me. But that, that kid really is a lucky guesser. That's it! We need to put a stop to this. I'm going to tell him the truth. Ben, wait! Ginger believing he was an actual genius gave him enough confidence to save the town. Just think what he could accomplish if he keeps thinking he's gifted. I mean, maybe part of being a genius is having people believe in you. If we support him, Ginger could end up being an astronaut. Or a president. Or an astronaut president. I guess I haven't thought about it that way. Maybe we shouldn't tell him the truth. <laughs> Good news! <Yeah>. I just <laughs> got hired as the candy factory safety manager. Uh. I'm dropping out of school, baby! <gasps> You're, You're not, not a, a genius! genius. Are we remodeling? Did we win a house decoration show contest? No, Hank. We're finally being evicted because we're broke. Our savings are down to one coin. <gasps> no! I'm not ready to be garageless. I know. It's bad. Our only hope is that our newest invention is a massive hit that saves the company. The reviews will post any minute. If people don't like it, we'll lose the garage and the business. Don't talk like that. We'll do whatever it takes to keep this team together. Whatever it takes. Uh, excuse me. Oh. So this is the new invention, huh? A food returner. Interesting. We call it the helping hand. It helps you do small chores by giving you a helping hand, hence the name. No, not yet. We need a minute. Huh? The new helping hand from Tom and Ben Enterprises is awful. Yeah. Awfully good. It's great at opening pickle jars, and I own a lot of pickle jars. Highly recommended. Oh, oh that's a good start. But one review won't be enough to save us. The helping hand is great for reaching high shelves when you're a little guy like me. Anyone without a helping hand is missing out on the next big thing. Buy a helping hand now, will ya? 
We did it! Our invention is a hit! Yeah! 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 Movers, you can put everything back because all our problems are over. With us are Tom and Ben, inventors of the helping hand, the must-have tech breakthrough of the year. Tom, Ben, thanks for coming on the show. Glad to be here. You know, since our invention came out, things have been just the best. We got invited to the best parties. Tom, I recognize people here from magazines. Don't be nervous. Since you're my girlfriend, that's how people are gonna recognize you. We won the best awards. World's greatest company. Hmm, I'll put it with all the others. We had the best time. The people who made this hover vest want to know if we can give it our endorsement. <laughs> but more than anything, we had the best feeling, knowing that we had made the world a better place. People ask what's next for us. I don't want to give it away, but let's say I have plans to colonize a planet that rhymes with blatter. And I want to take up surfing. Never had time before, but now that everything is good forever, I'm ready to hit those waves. Now let me tell you a story. It begins in a garage where two good friends had one big dream. There would be good days and bad days, but through it all, we had... Uh, hello? Kind of giving a presentation up here. It's chaos in the streets as the helping hands go out of control. Cheeks have been slapped, wedgies have been given, and valuables have been stolen. What careless inventor could have let this happen? This just in, I've been pantsed by one of these mean machines. We have to get out of here! Run! Beware of the hands! How could you do this to us? We trust you. Let's stay calm. I'm sure this is a minor glitch that only affects uh, every helping hand in the world! Take that! Who brings a potato to a tech conference? There's no time to wonder about that, Ben. We have to go! Helping hand should be banned. Get away from the window. If we ignore them, maybe they'll leave. Doubt it. They're setting up tents, and I see a gift shop. <gasps> Boy, I don't think it's ever been this bad. What do you think? Has it ever been this bad? No, and I don't see how a commercial is going to fix things. It's an apology ad. It's what tech companies do when they screw up. You trusted us, and we let you down. But we also heard you. We want you to trust us again. Perfect, but maybe the music could be a bit more sorrier. We <laughs> want more than an apology. You know, something isn't right. Your inventions don't go crazy for no reason. Right, we need to get to the bottom of this, but how? <laughs> Roy, what are you doing here? I apologize for the dramatic entrance, but you boarded up all the doors. Anyway, I have something for you. It's a bad machine! Squish it! Hey, easy there, huh? I caught him raiding my sock drawer, probably trying to steal my socks. I thought this thing could help you figure out what went wrong. Boy, you're such a good neighbor. No, no, he's not. This is just his way of embarrassing me or making me look bad or, or, or... something. Gosh, I'm so sorry you think that. I just thought Ben could reprogram this thing or do some science stuff. Actually, I have a better idea. I saw in the news that the hands have been stealing from people. Nobody knows where they're bringing the things they steal. So, if we follow it, we might be able to figure out who's behind this. Are we there yet? My feet hurt. Angela, can we really trust a machine that came from Roy? I don't know. Maybe we should just ask that giant group of machines over there. The hands have clearly lost all interest in helping. Everyone be careful. It 
It's not my fault somebody left their stupid twig lying around. Look out! Here they come! in the treasure pile. Do you mean like that clue? That's weird. That's the same surfboard Tom wanted to get. Come on, Hank. I mean, that is a popular surfboard. That doesn't count as a clue. Yeah, we have to keep go... Wait. Tom, this is your journal. What is this doing here? I don't know. The helping hands are gonna make me rich, even if people don't like them. I have a plan. <gasps> whoa, whoa, I did not write that. Someone is messing with me. Or maybe someone moved the journal here so it would never be found. <gasps> Don't you see what is happening? Well, I mean, Roy must be controlling everything. He sabotaged the helping hands. Whoa, whoa, Tom, please. Don't you think you blame me enough for things I didn't do? <laughs> I would not sabotage my own company. You said you'd do whatever it takes to keep us in business. Did you mean programming the helping hands to steal? Oh, 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 I meant writing a company jingle. <laughs> what is this? I've seen enough. I never thought you'd sink this low, Tom. Wait, no. Angela, you know that I wouldn't attack the world with bad robots, right? You know, Tom, my name is on this company, too. Next time you want to destroy everything we've ever done, I'd appreciate if I at least got a memo. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Roy, I need to tell them this is a huge mistake. <laughs> Tom, it's not a mistake. It's really, really not. It really was you. I hacked the helping hands and made them evil. Huh? <laughs> and then I placed your journal in the forest. Tom, this is your journal. <gasps> I've been after this moment since I came to town, and it's finally here. <gasps> I stole your life. No, no, it's not fair. <laughs> Game over, Tom. Everyone hates you. Oh, angry mob, he's right here. See you, uh, never. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm back. So here's what happened. Tom made a successful invention, finally. But everything went wrong. Now everyone thinks it's his fault. And every friend Tom used to have is, uh, on my side. Uh, poor Tom. Hey, on with the show. <laughs> I 
I used to think sunglasses were about style and sun protection. But now I know they're about letting me see a virtual world. Oh, I can even feel the forest mud in between my toes. <laughs> Great job, Ben. It looks like our fun glasses are going to be a real hit. They were your brilliant idea, Roy. I just made them a reality. A virtual reality. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> partnership is already better than the old one with what's his name. Yeah, TV thinks so too. Look. The helping hand horror is behind us. Thanks to Roy and his new tech company, Roy and Ben Enterprises. Thanks, Craig. But I'd rather call it Ben and Roy Enterprises. Put Ben first. Oh. And it turns out he's humble as well. People like us, yeah, but I say let's make them love us by throwing a big party for the Fun Glasses launch. Yeah! yeah! I love our lives now! <laughs> hey, you okay? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little sad about what happened with Tom. Yeah, well, he was a big part of your life. I... I guess I could invite him to the party if you think that... Uh... No! He betrayed us! And I have to forget about him! Like, I'm sure he's already forgotten about us! This couldn't possibly get any... <laughs> Whoever you are, you better watch out. I'm willing to try Kung Fu! <laughs> there will be no Kung and Fu fight today. <gasps> Landlord? Sorry about the baghead, Tom. We thought you wouldn't meet with us if we just asked nicely. Why are you... Wait. Who is we? Uh, no. Hello? Aha! Tom. Oh, no. Come on! Haven't I suffered enough? We need your help. What? You see, something has to be done about Roy. Wait, you also think he's up to evil secret bad guy things? No, but we're used to clashing with whoever leads the garage group, and we preferred clashing with you. Roy is too clever. He convinced me to cut the rent in half. Why did I do that? He put our science lab out of business. Now how will we mock our competitors? <sighs> he told the school board I was too tough on my students. Now I have to give them positive yeah. reinforcement. Ugh. Huh. Well, I'm really more worried about the secret evil bad guy things, but I am on board with getting rid of Roy, and I know exactly what we need to do. Roy seems perfect but he's hiding something in a secret room under his house. If we can break into that room and expose whatever is in it, we can take him down. But the room is locked with a high-tech eyeball scanner that only Roy can use. So we need to fool that scanner. But we'd have to do it when no one would notice people sneaking around Roy's house. That could be tricky. Normally, yeah. But I happen to know about a party I wasn't invited to, and it's a perfect opportunity. Wow, the whole town is here celebrating our fun glasses. Who'd miss a chance to party with the new top team of tech? Time to tango. We need a photo of Roy's eye, so we need to get those glasses off of him as soon as possible. I'm on my way. Roy, you simply must try these top <laughs> Oh, no. Trapped an utterly soiled your pretty head. Let me get no. that. Ah. The glasses are gone. Repeat, glasses are gone. Landlord Vanthrax, you're up. Roy, I was just saying how positive reinforcement has really improved my teaching. I absolutely no, need I a picture of us to hang in my class to remind me of your great advice. Say cheddar! <laughs> Photos in. One eyeball coming up. Adjusting for the Coriolis effect. And fuck! Nice work, team. 
I'm going in. You know, I always knew charity was important. Hello, what? everybody. <gasps> Remember me? I bet you all still hate me, but that doesn't matter right now because I'm in Roy's house and I'm about to open his secret door. Let's see who Roy really is. <laughs> Hello, Roy. Now watch this. Please enter surprise password now. Uh, what? I'm so sorry about this, everybody. A sick weirdo's broken into my home, and I need to get him the help he needs. In the meantime, how about some tunes? <laughs> Tom, 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 did you really think I didn't know you'd try to crash my party? <laughs> Nothing to say. I'd be speechless too if I were about to be sent to prison. I'll lock this door up, then I'll lock you up. Let me just enter my secret code. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Wait, these aren't my sunglasses. These are fun glasses. Aloha. We switched those with your normal glasses when you took them off. You never went into your house. It was very realistic virtual reality. Why would you do this? Oh, just to trick you into giving Tom your secret code. No biggie. Stop, huh? Hands off the student. What are you doing? Let's find out. Hey! Gotcha! I'll teach you not to... <gasps> Whoa! Oh, Roy. It's all the things that have mysteriously disappeared from town. What? My stolen silverware! Tom, you were right the whole time. Roy really is a thief. Not just a thief, a liar. These are plans for sabotaging the helping hands. Roy frames Tom. And this says he wanted to use the fun glasses to distract the whole town while he stole even more. <laughs> okay, everyone. I know this looks bad, but soon it won't. After I destroy the evidence and escape. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of this dumpy town anyway! Ronnie, self-destruct initiated. So long, loser! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no! We can't get blown up right after I finally proved I was right! We'll never be able to run out of here before it's too late! Stay there, we don't have to run! Sorry we doubted you. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Can you ever forgive us?
Of course I can. Oh. I missed you all so much. Now let's go home. Wow, do I need a shower? Ooh, you really do. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Now what?